Nick, did you know that this episode is brought to you by Ice Shaker? I did not. Ice Shaker is sponsoring BroChat, and they have provided us with the 36-ounce and the 24-ounce ice shakers. Do you have an ice shaker? I, I don't. I think I need one. Dude, why don't you have an ice shaker? Do you know how long you keep stuff cold? It's like you, 10 hours you keep drinks cold in this thing. You said that's a 36-ounce? Yeah, so this is good for your intra. It's 36 I ounce. That my intra. That's very valuable. Right. And this is good for your pre-workout. Absolutely. Ice Shaker also has food bags. You have, your, have you seen the food bags yet? No, please do show. I'm going to show you the food bags. So right now, these are the shaker bottles. This is a 36 ounce. I just showed you the 24 ounce. They have this little skinny one, which I don't think you could use. But they also no. have these awesome cooler bags that are waterproof. Uh, so, you know, if you spill anything in there, if you put ice in there and stuff, uh, the water won't leak out. So it's like really high quality stuff. How many meals fit in those? I don't know. It looks like you fit like, you know, like three of these, like three meals. That's perfect. You think you're going to get one? I am absolutely going to get one. Well, if you guys want to get one, use code RBP at uh, iceshaker.com and get 20% off your whole order. Nick, use code RBP, get 20% off your order. I sure will. Nick, what the fuck is going on, man? How are you? I'm good. Relaxing. How's, li- how's life treating you? Are you any are you stressed out? Are you happy? Is everything going according to plan? Um, so far things are going according to my plan. How come you're never stressed out about anything? Oh, I, I do. I just don't really show it. Yeah, but it's just me and you talking now. You can tell me. Well, Justin's here now too, but yeah, tell us, Nick. Well, What's we're all on your mind. It's gonna be well, this is also live for the people too. <laughs> okay, well, maybe like a hundred thousand people are gonna watch, but that's okay. Just, just us, just our group. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> um, why are you? Why are you in the? There's a naked woman behind you. And... That's my wife. You're oh, about. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, this podcast naked just, woman. podcast just changed dramatically. It says hi to the naked woman. Hi. hi. <laughs> that's are Jasmine you? here. Let me get out of here. Hi, hi, Jasmine. How are you? Great. It's a nice kitchen you got there. Hey, thanks, man. You? Does your I'm wife a kitchen always... guy? Wait a minute. I'm a kitchen guy too. When we're we're designing a house that we're building, and that's like my main focus. That's like it's all I very, fucking hear about. It's a very rustic look. Where's, I like it. It's comfortable. Where, where's your house gonna be? Up on a, a mountaintop, looking over all the peasants. Really? <laughs> <laughs> like a real, like a real weed mogul should. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, we have we we own property right like right at the top of a mountain. I leveled out a pad and just like looks over the entire valley we live in. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Can you can your weed company sponsor me? I'll start smoking weed. No, dude. No. <laughs> you'll, you'll start smoking. Yeah. <laughs> so we were just talking about. Well, first of all, why are you in the kitchen? What is this new? Scene my internet. In? My, my internet's better in here. Oh, did you get the Ethernet? Did you get the dongle or no? Yeah, I got it, but it was the wrong fucking one. It, it said it was. <laughs> I know <laughs> it was supposed That's to be the wrong one. It says Thunderbolt to, to Ethernet, and I got it, but it doesn't fit in my Thunderbolt port. I don't know. I don't know. Do you want me to order something for you? Just tell me what you got, and I'll, I'll order for you. I just I got a MacBook Pro. Just send me what I need. Okay. Take, take it out of my pay. <laughs> take it out of my pay. <laughs> um, we were just talking before you logged on about Nick's problems. He never seems to have any problems, and I want to know what his problems are. I don't think he's ever transparent. Like, talk to us, Nick. Well, on, because, but... like, we, we are always on here, and I always talk about my problems. I'm always, like, I got anxiety, and I'm fucked up, and I'm insecure, and I'm, like, <laughs> I'm crazy at times. I get really angry. Mm-hmm. So brother. everybody knows I'm fucked up, right? Yeah. Everybody thinks Nick is perfect. I'm, like, I think Nick is perfect. I want to know why you're not perfect. I am perfect. All right. We'll just leave it at that. Justin, are you perfect? Minus your three fingers. Yeah, minus this. But yeah, aside from that, I'm bang on, baby. <laughs> We're going to make a shirt like that. This? Yeah. All right. I think it's tough. People, people are like begging me for. I think people. I think people. I would wanna, buy it. I think people want to support you. We're not going to even put. We're not going to. We're not going to even put anything on it. Just like that. And then the everybody will know. Your fans will know. Yeah. Yeah. They'll love it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that. You out of here, oh. Jeff? All right. Bye. I'll see you there. Where's she going? To the gym.
by herself. Mm -hmm. Wait, you let her do that? You trust her? (laughs) (laughs) Bye, I love you. (laughs) Fuck that. You're going with me. You fucking wait till I'm done. You and me, you and me are going together. You're not going. <laughs> you're not going anywhere. <laughs> See, Nick, he's open about his insecurities. No, I'm not. That's a, okay. That's a joke. I would never do. I that. know. I know. Small joke. Um, no, Nick, you posted a photo that looks absolutely ridiculous that we should talk about. Which one? <clears throat> what Why are you one? trying to do with your arms, sir? Are you trying? Are you trying to make them like? Why do you even train them at this point? Like, what? Are I, you really, doing? I really what are you, don't. What do you do? It your arm looks the size of your waist now. Yeah, that's a good thing. I know it is. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what I always said, and you guys can correct me if, you're, if I'm if you think I'm wrong, but I always said that uh, if somebody has a thicker waist, they can cover it with big arms. Because I think of guys like, and I know that might not make a lot of sense to people, but illusion wise. As far as illusion, as, yeah. as okay. far as the illusion on stage, when you have massive arms, it takes away from the thickness of your waist. And I think of got like Rolly Winkler comes to mind first and foremost because Rolly didn't have a distended stomach, but he had like thicker obliques. Yeah. But you never really noticed it because his fucking arms were like twenty five inches. Mm-hmm. So it almost looks to me like in this photo, like obviously you've been working on your waist, but it almost looks the same. Like there's so much size on your arms that everything else looks smaller. Yeah. That's pretty impressive, like peak off season to see your midsection that tight. I'm I'm two I'm two ninety two in this photo. Yeah. Are you doing vacuums every day and shit? Because it looks like it. If you want me to be honest, no, I don't. I barely even train abs right now. So you don't do vacuums or anything. What are you doing to keep it so tight? Honestly, I just think my problem in the past was just the, the uh, finding foods that digest well for me, honestly, and not overeating. What do you, what do you, give me an example of like what digests well for you? Like what, what do you think you changed that is working better for you? Honestly, like the best meal that, I, that digests perfect for me is chicken, rice, and mac oil. And yes. that's something you weren't doing before. I, I was, but you know, I think once you have, you know, a, an extended stomach, it, it takes a while to really reel it back in. Yeah. And now that I think I figured out, you know, what works best, it's just now it's just an ongoing progression. Just take time. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I think, I I think that's right. Don't feel at you know the stage I'm at, I don't have to eat tremendous amount of food to get as big as I want right now. Yeah, I do want to grow, but I don't need to overeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I was going to say I, I actually agree with your statement about your waist. I think if you can eat smaller meals for a long period of time, it's kind of like when you're dieting. If you're eating small meals while you're dieting, your waist just starts to come in gradually yeah. through, the, through the week if and you that's, can do that if you can do that all year like that's crazy yeah. exactly and if, if i can keep it as you know tight as it is now until i start prep it, it's just going to shrink during prep. it's only going to get smaller yeah yeah justin what's going on with you same old same baby your face is looking chubbier you gain weight uh yeah i'm up a little a little bit what are you up to <laughs> 260 like, no <laughs> no like 253 ish what the fuck are you waiting for I don't know what I was 240 four weeks ago when we were at the he's taking his time four weeks so that's enough to put on 20 pounds you should have been 260 by now all right he's got a long off season I think I should honestly I I am oh yeah you want to take over (laughs) I think you should let me (laughs) (laughs) I love that I love that that's a joke (laughs) (laughs) let me take over your diet (laughs) I think we should talk to Matt well honestly the thing is I get fat super easy yeah, and, really? Yeah, and I've got a super long off season. Yeah. And my appetite's terrible. So we're just taking it slow. Like I'm not see, I'm I'm starving like all day. I love it. Yeah, that's well, not give good. me wait a minute. Give me an example. So Nick, you said chicken, uh, rice, and mac oil. Yeah. How much chicken? Right now I do eight ounces. And how much rice? Is this an off day or a, a training? Train, day? Let's say training day. Usually like 100 grams of rice carbs dry or carbs so what like 3 oh, 100 grams so of like, carbs 100 like, grams of carbs yeah. sorry sorry sorry, sorry 350 sorry. grams of rice yeah it's like 3 it would be 300 wouldn't it cuz isn't isn't 200 300 is like 80 isn't it yeah so 350 right. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and then how much mac oil like a tablespoon uh i, I do like 12 uh, grams 
Okay. Okay. So what is that in comparison to your meal, Justin? So my pre-workout meal right now is just like Nick's. It's, well, it's 15 grams of Mac oil, 224 grams of chicken breast, and then 280 grams of rice. Okay, so, you, so you guys aren't that far off meal meal wise no, but right? most of my meals for the rest of the day are like 220 grams of rice 224 grams of chicken or beef well yeah that's like how majority of my meals look and I, my pre-workout i do like eight ounces of chicken um probably the same amount of rice 100 grams of banana 28 grams of almond butter hey you changed the way you said banana the banana <laughs> yeah see you yeah. changed it something's wrong you've been practicing You've been looking in the mirror going, banana. <laughs> banana. Say it again. Banana. See? He changed yeah, you it, got, Justin. You got, yep. Yeah, you did. What the fuck happened? Why did you change it? What do you mean? You changed it. No. Yeah. You, tell, you were saying banana. Nick is self uh-huh. Nick is self-conscious like the rest of us. And after he, we yeah. got after we wrote it. Banana. Banana. <laughs> 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 I guess the point I'm trying to make is your guys' meals aren't that different, but Justin, your appetite is just shit. Yeah, my best. I'm not bad. It's not bad right now, but I know yeah. if I like if we push things too quick, then I'll just kill my appetite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just joking. Obviously, you are you are you life. hungry? At all? Are you hungry? All day yeah, like I, I wake up hungry, and as long as like I nail my meal timing, you, you gotta make you gotta maintain that as long as possible. Yeah, for sure, exactly. And it's are not you, it's, it should never be a race to kill your appetite, in my opinion. Do you have fats in all your meals? Um, I don't have like, well, yeah, I have add, like, add, uh, sorry, added fats, not fat, uh, like steak and stuff, added fats. Yeah, I either have whole eggs, avocado or Mac oil or yeah. all. Of so you're always the, the only meal I don't have fat in is like my post-workout. But I always like, tell for people, I always tell people, if you're really having a lot of trouble yeah. eating, all you have to do is pull the fats from a couple of your meals yeah. for a few days and, and then you could put it back in. After and I know about you guys, like I love chicken thighs, but I find that chicken breast and some olive oil digest faster than like chicken thighs even if it's the same amount of fats the calories because the fats are different right so the saturated the saturated fats always going to digest a little slower for me too Mm -hmm. yeah um but yeah i just feel like that's a really simple way because sometimes people get married to their diet and then their appetite goes to shit and they feel like they have to do a mini cut and i'm like you don't really have to do a mini cut if you just change the macros a little bit you can add a lot of times you just gotta pull some fats out if you because fats are really satiating so as soon as you pull those Fats are what slow the digestion. Well, yeah, you can pull your fats down for a week and, and reset your appetite. Yeah, yeah. We just got uh, Mr. Pakistan here. I, I, I don't know if you saw. It was I was it was connecting for like five minutes. I just texted you. I I'm waited. Like, I was making you wait in the waiting room because we were having a conversation about you. You're only there for 30 seconds. <laughs> no, it was a couple minutes. It was like 30 seconds. It said, guy, sister Nino. And I'm like, okay, you wait for a minute. That's not true. It was not 30 seconds. It was not five minutes. You're lying so bad. It was more than 30. Oh, it was two and a half minutes. All right, here we go. The guy's back now. We're fucking fighting already. Jesus, you just got on. Guy, what's up, man? You're back from Pakistan. You and your Arab <laughs> money hats. They made you wear the hats and everything. <laughs> He's going to get it. Are you going to go get the hat now? <laughs> this this is my the favorite, my, my, favorite, this. my favorite part of the hat is the, the thing on it that sticks up. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. That is fucking class. You look okay. like you look like Jafar off of Aladdin. You look Arab. You could, you could you could literally be Arab. I know that's Pakistani. Oh, but like, you could literally be oh, like. Oh. Nobody, nobody got the Abu joke. That's Abu. your girlfriend's name. No, that's not. Where's your guy? <laughs> yeah, where's your girlfriend? Abu's, Abu's a monkey in Aladdin. You idiot. I know, I know. When you were in Pakistan, did you have phone sex with your girlfriend? Did I have what? Did you have phone sex with your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend, and I didn't when you have were gone away. Did you have phone sex with the girl that you know? I had phone. First of all, the only thing I did was try to search. Answer her. the question, guy. No, <laughs> I was trying to search. No, you phone. didn't have phone sex with her, or I no. I had no sex with anybody. No kind of phone sex. No kind of any sex. So she left you out there hanging by yourself. Didn't even want to fucking participate. That's cool. Bro, no titty pics. It's called. There's no, por- there's called there's zero porn sites out there. No, but what I'm saying is your girlfriend just left you high and dry. What, what, what is it with you in phone sites? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he's trying, wait. He, he's trying to get me to admit to having a girlfriend on the podcast like he's been the past wait, 15 I'm times. Just, I'm just what are you trying to do? Hold on. Okay, go ahead. 
There was no porn sites in Pakistan? <laughs> Bro. No, I encountered that too when I went to Dubai. It's like a block on everything. You can't even get on Pornhub? Bro, and me and me and my uh, buddy, my buddy came up to me. He was like, I got a question. He goes, I went online. I go, you can't find a porn site. He goes, no, I go either. Can I? <laughs> you literally be on Google and put in like sex video. <laughs> so you would get sex books. Yeah. Just Google boobies. <laughs> it would nothing was working. So what did bro. you fucking look at while you were there? Secret ads. Did you go back? Did you go, to your, without did you go back to your memory? I just bank bank. You went to spank yeah. bank. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, that new girlfriend of yours, that thing, that's pretty fresh. So, yeah. These guys, see, Nick, Nick, can you just defend <laughs> me, please? No, because he doesn't want us to talk about his girlfriend. Yeah, he's not going to say shit. He's like, as long as I don't say anything, they won't ask me about my phone sex. <laughs> yeah. What about your phone sex there, fucking underlip? <laughs> who, uh, who had was surprised I let my wife go to the gym by herself? Yeah. What? This guy, this guy actually let his wife leave the house without him. Can you believe that guy? How dare she? That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, what are you? Yeah, and she was wearing, and she was wearing nothing. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she was what? practically wearing nothing. <laughs> yeah, she had like really short shorts, sports bra. Imagine I was serious though. Could you still be friends with me if I was like like that? I'd still be friends with you. I just talk shit about you when you're around. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah. yeah, he's a great guy. You believe this asshole? Yeah, <laughs> guy. Frick. Seriously though, start from beginning to end. How was the flight? How was the trip? What happened? Anything good? Um, the gyms look. Good. The gyms look medieval. Yeah, it's why. I mean, so I've been to India a couple times. This wasn't like as like third world country ish as India was, but it was it was pretty it was pretty bad. Some areas. How were the bathrooms? Um, good question. Well, which which bathrooms are you referring to? <laughs> You know, the, ones you know. the ones you take a shit in. The ones that I showed you guys? Well, sure. sure. Just in so general. You could literally, in the, where I was staying, the place I was staying was gorgeous. I was staying in a huge fucking mansion. But, like, the, the bathrooms are literally sink. And, like, three feet from the sink was the shower. And then, like, three feet from the shower was, like, the American shitter. And then, like, three feet from that shitter was, like, a hole in the ground. So you could literally... Piss, poop, shower, brush your teeth, like all in the same fucking. Wait, 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 wait. Was the hole in the ground for shitting or pissing? Because I know they in some countries no, they for, squat for shit the... there. No, for hover dumping. Yeah. Did you yeah. try it? Oh. Twice, nothing came out. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I'm honest. You needed a squatty potty. <laughs> I'm trying wait, to try. Wait, wait, wait. Why, wait. why did you? Why did you even try it? That's what I want. Because I was like, I want to know. What, I, I, I was like in my head. I'm like. When in Rome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, I just kind of want to know if, if like. It's an easier way to poop because people were messaging me and they're like, that's the most natural way to go it to is. the bathroom. Like, it's supposed to be, yeah. Like, like most of your poop will come out. So, like a couple of times I'm like, I was like, I gotta go. I was like, let me try to squat and poop. And I think my fucking like fart shit separator got scared and just like clenched up and like nothing would come out. I can't imagine that's it scary. just seems so it seems so uncomfortable though. It <laughs> is. I'm like, especially I got three herniated discs. I can't be leaving yeah, like that. Something just hurt my knees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all right it's so like anyway. it's like being in a catcher's position yeah that's yeah. what i'm yeah. saying but i couldn't comfortably like and you're trying to be on your phone and shit like it's not yeah. you can't be on your phone and do that and then i even said i go this is actually more of a position that i would be in because in order to poop like that you actually have to take your your pants and underwear completely off yeah, you so do. Yeah. <laughs> if, if it's my if it's my mo perfectly that's true you couldn't actually just pull your pants down no, because well, you, you could, but you'd be dangerous. Pants. You'd be you could, but you'd be dangerously close to like shitting on yourself. Yeah, unless you had like you would have to have like a perfect like turd come out every time. Yeah, angle like that way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because the, the pants will create like a basket where you can poop right into your pants if you don't play your card right. <laughs> yeah, it's not like imagine, imagine like imagine like sitting like that and going to the bathroom and having like diarrhea and it just was like firing oh. out of. Like, then what do you do? Okay, can we not talk about shit for fucking 25 minutes? Yeah, let's, you let's asked on. about the bathrooms. I, no, Nick I did. asked about the bathrooms. Oh, that's, that's my I'm bad. I'm saying somebody from the podcast did. All right. That's my bad. That's okay, my bad. Okay, so the bathrooms are whatever. People, Why are there people with machine guns everywhere? Yeah, yeah. And and when that guy got on the leg press, did you tell him to do that to the side? 
or <laughs> did you just allow him to get on the leg press? Yeah, why can't people well, talk in front of you, but you can let people with machine guns? Let get to their fucking machine guns. So the reason, so this is what happened. We, okay, so the reason for the machine guns is... <laughs> yeah, do that shit to the side, guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, don't talk in front of me. Hey, you get on the machine, <laughs> your machine gun. <laughs> they call me machine gun guy. Oh, yeah, they do. Call, that, that's what they call Nick, them Nick said you're not going deep enough on this either. Nah. Nick, you can fucking suck a bag of dicks, pal. <laughs> <laughs> is this guy looking at your... He looks like he's looking at your balls. Yeah, he is. He's seen right so now. Listen, the, so the, this incident happened because we were in a gym and we're literally like looking all over the place for like 45s and there was n- not a lot of 45s and we loaded this thing up and it really wasn't heavy. So yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like, you want somebody on top of it? And he was like, yeah. So he called one of the guards over and he was like, get on top. And I'm like, I was like, make sure you point the gun down, like away yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. when yeah. you get on. I'm like, and, and he, I was like, I'm okay with it as long as like, you just don't fucking screw up that gun. Yeah. And uh, so that's how this video came about because they were going to have like one of the random like gym guys like jump on. I was like, no, no, no. This, yeah, was, had, this would drive me crazy. All these. You different- had five more reps in you, buddy. Dude, it, bro, I was on it, it, no sleep, I, like no food. I was exhausted. I'm fucking, I'm fucking guy. With you. He's fucking with you. Don't, don't have to answer every time he fucks. We know you. Know you, so, you train hard. But this is strange. Like this guy's looking right up your ass. <laughs> no, no, no. That's so. That's Kamar. That's the guy that brought me out. He's the guy that like put this whole thing together. Okay, wait. Before we go on, anybody watching, whatever jokes we make, I'm just being an asshole. We we're not this disrespectful. I'm just fucking with guy. Everybody like I've been in these situations. Like when I went to Dubai, I had the same thing. Like a bunch of people standing around watching. It's like it's just I don't know. Explain, so to, reason, explain to everybody why everybody's just standing around watching. Because like if they didn't have security there, like I wouldn't literally I would not be able to work out. Like we went into the mall, and I, I don't know if because like the way they explained it to me is like there's not a lot of Americans that go over there because it's a third world country. So they see an American. And regardless if they know who you are or not, they think you're very important. So they oh, want a okay. picture, they want videos. So like, if you don't have security, like you get like bombarded and like within seconds, you go from like being by yourself somewhere to like hundreds of people around you and you like can't like move. Yeah. So they do that to almost like protect you. Like not because somebody's gonna like attack you, but to give you your own personal space because yeah. uh, over there, personal space like really isn't a thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. They, like not that they don't, like respect personal space they just it's different with them like those so, they don't, like they don't form a line to take a picture they just like all come at you at once it's, was it like that when you went to india because i live oh horrible so yeah. when i went to india uh, when i'm sorry when i went to india i didn't go to india when i lived in uh i lived in brampton ontario which is like a heavy heavily uh indian populated area of ontario and I would get stopped inside the grocery store almost every fucking time I went to the grocery store and like somebody would be like, Oh, let me feel your arms or, Oh, you live a really beautiful body. And I'm like, this is real. And this is dudes. And I'm like, yeah, it's just really well, strange. Get, right. But I think it's just know. a, like, our, our, our direct message requests are full of those guys. Messages. Yeah. I think it's just like, a cultural yeah. thing. Like they just really respect no, they're very the muscle. Yeah, yeah. They like, it, they, they really do like they, they like they'll come up and just like like touch your arm yeah. like and not even like ask but yeah. they're just like so like infatuated yeah. with like muscle but it's they were like i never met nicer people yeah yeah like, it, they were the nicest 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 people like i like everybody that i met were yeah. super kind like super um hospitable it, it was a really cool experience the thing that sucked the fucking most the two things that sucked a, they mu- their mosquitoes must be on fucking trend because I am covered in mosquito really? bites. Oh, dude, it's so bad. Like, I got welts all over my leg, all over my arms. Mm, I, I had not live through that. I don't know if you see my head a little bit. Look, here, yeah, yeah. here, yeah, yeah, here, yeah. here. Yeah, here. yeah. yeah um, you fuck. So that was horrible. And then they have, I just came from the gym. You know, in LA, how they have like rolling blackouts? Yeah. So because the way this is how it was, it was explained to me over there, it takes 19,000 I, I, on a power grid, 19,000. I don't know if it's volts or Watts or whatever to completely run Pakistan. Well, they're, they only run off of 16. Yeah. So in order to like fully 
I guess, like, Run have the make sure everybody have electricity. Every couple hours, towns will just completely go blackouts and generators. Yep. Who, if you have a generator, that keeps whatever you have going. So yep. it was like 105, and the fucking everything would just kick off. The generator would, would kick on, but not enough to run the ACs because they don't have like central air like we have. Yeah, yeah. They have like units in every room. Window yep. unit. So it, so it was like that, that, that sucked. So Lebanon, let my mom, my uh, aunt was here from Lebanon. Uh, and I'm sure somebody in the comment section will correct me because it's probably Lebanese people watching, but it was, they have a similar situation where like every four hours, or I think there's at peak times, like at 6 PM or something like that, the electricity goes off for like four hours and their generator has to kick on so yeah. same, same kind of situation. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of countries I think that have that situation. Yeah. So, um, Anyway, so what did you do with the generator went on? Is that enough to like power your phone, keep your charge? It was, yeah, charged? it was enough like, like the lights went on, the fans went on, yeah. um, but like no, no air conditioning whatsoever, like yeah. none. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it was like, and, and you know, when you have those like little AC units, once it's like when they're on, it's freezing, but it looks like as soon as they're off, it's like within a minute, it's just as hot as it was like yeah. hours yeah. ago. Yeah. So yeah. that kind of sucked, but um it we, we traveled around we went to a lot of different gyms so a lot of different places um explain to me ex explain to me that so you traveled around pakistan was it all third worldish or was there like really really nice pockets and then really really run down pockets dude we went to a part that literally looked like it was like downtown miami okay blew me away yeah yeah like i actually took a video i'll send it to you of, of the rooftop and it, it literally looked like you're in miami it, it was crazy I don't know how Pakistan is. I don't know if they told you this or you asked anybody, but in Lebanon, uh, and I keep referring to Lebanon just because it's the only country I know over there. That, yeah. You know, so, but, um, and I know they're not the same people, so nobody judge me that way. But in Lebanon, it's very, very rich or very, very poor. That's how all third world countries, I think, are because India was the same way. You either had money or you were here. Yeah. I mean, there's Lebanon's no not a third world class. country, but they're having money issues. So anyway, but yeah, there's no, there's no middle class. So is that- yeah same yeah is india the same because i've always heard or read india is the same it's like a really yeah. really rich or yep. really really like hard done by yeah so like the people that that we stayed with so they had two girls that worked in the house and one was 13 one was 16 so what they explained to me were these were kids that families were super poor yep. didn't have a place to live and what they'll do is they'll literally like almost like in a way adopt the the kids take them into the house, give them a place to sleep, place to eat, clothe them, pay them a small salary. But their job is literally from the time I woke up yeah. to the time I went to bed, like food was on the table, like made my bed. Like even if I went into my room to get something and walked out, they would come in, rearrange my shoes, like n all day, every day, nonstop. Guy, right, let me ask you this. Did you ever get used to it or did you always feel bad about them cleaning the up after you? The entire time I, they, like, I would pick up my plate to walk into the kitchen and they'd be like, no, 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 sit. And I'd be like, no, no, it's okay. And we would like get into bickering matches. And I'm like, I didn't feel like it just me living by myself. I do everything by myself. Me having almost like somebody serve me yeah. was like very hard to accept. Yeah. Yeah. So my mom, my mom had a live in nanny in the last years of her life uh, because she had trouble, like just moving around stuff. So yeah. She had a uh, Filipino uh, woman was a, her live in nanny there that was with her 24 seven because she just lived there. And um, obviously she got paid like a healthy salary and all that shit. Right. But every time I would go over, she would bring me a coffee or bring me like some fruit cut up or like something. And I always felt bad. And if we sat down for dinner, she would like set the table. And then like, if you, same thing, if you tried to take your plate to the sink, she would come and like, take it out of your hands. And I'm like, it just doesn't feel, it feels weird. Like it doesn't feel normal. And then like, they started to like, like, so it was me, Bobby, my, and my buddy, Mo. So they started to like, so they knew Mo, but like, they started calling us like uncle Bobby and uncle guy, because like, we got to know them like every day. Yeah. And then like, they would like, like, we would try to like talk to them and like the two little like, the two little girls. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like, it, so we got to like, like, and they would like smile and every time I'd be like, good morning. How'd you guys sleep? Okay. Like, yeah. just try to engage with them because I, it was like, I don't know. It was it was like, in a way, it was so good that they had a place to be because they were so poor that they came from nothing. That, But then to see them, like, being so young, working so much was yeah. also hard to see. But over there, it's like, 
normal. That's like better than being where they were. So they, I'm assuming these girls probably don't go to school or anything. That's probably their life is like, that's, that's their life. Yeah, and then that's what they do. he told me that he will actually marry them off. Like yeah. not their father, because yeah. now that he took them in, like he's, he takes full responsibility for them. So he'll, he'll marry both of them girls eventually off like he did to the past two that he had. So oh, like they, and, and then they give them like a lot of, they give them a ton of money at the end. Like once they marry yeah. them off, yeah, like yeah. take care of them. So like they, it, it is good, but they work for that, you know? How long uh, were you there, guy? A week or two weeks? No, I was there for nine days. Nine days. Yeah. How much? I know you've been to India. How? What's the longest you've been in India for? Uh, a week. So, is this like a new experience seeing this kind of thing, or like you're kind of used to it from seeing it in India, or like did you get to see it more in depth this time? I got to see it more in depth because India, it was like you stayed at the hotel. Yeah. They took you in a bus to a place. Yeah. to the expo or to the show and then bus back and like yeah. you weren't because india was like the way i was explained not as safe as pakistan yeah, yeah. so yeah. i didn't really get to drive around the way i did and it was like a convoy there was two cars i was in one with my buddy my buddy was in another one with the guy that brought us and then we had two cars in front a police car or two cars on the side one in the front one in back each car had an armed guard and then we had these like old combat vets that like literally if we got stuck in traffic would jump out of the car direct traffic move everybody out of the way so we could get through and then jump back on the car like it was a like a garage truck and keep going yeah yeah, yeah. so it was, it was wild so the reason okay that's i kind of figured that so the reason i asked that is like being more involved in the day-to-day -day, did it like help you appreciate what we have here more at 110 percent, i could not i was like please get me home well, I just mean, because I think sometimes when I hear people like, and this is, I, I'm sorry if I'm getting a little political here, but sometimes when I hear people complaining about America or complaining about our lifestyle or complain, I'm like, it's almost like, I feel like maybe you haven't traveled anywhere. Cause I feel like if you've been anywhere else, you're kind of like, you're a little bit more appreciative of what we have. Dude, they were making, I didn't like, they, like an ice tray doesn't exist. Like they were making ice. The girls were taking an ice block and chopping the block with ice and like that's how they were serving ice like yeah. an ice tray like doesn't exist over yeah. there it's yeah. like the, the dumbest things that we have like yeah. you just can't get over there we just take everything for granted here yeah it's, it's it really is and it gives you a deep appreciation of like i got home and landed and i was like you know newark new jersey is like you know not the greatest place but I, as soon as that plane landed i was like <laughs> <laughs> how long was the flight well the the, to the flight time plus layover or just no no time? just the flight time just the flight 19 time. hours 19 hours <laughs> did what your uh, did your girlfriend pick you up at the airport <laughs> <laughs> no we took an uber home thanks <laughs> <laughs> he said we took an uber yeah, you and her yeah. oh, so me and my you're, buddy you're, bobby you oh bobby okay bob uh nick i know you don't have a passport so you probably haven't been anywhere but uh <laughs> which you're gonna have to get one because uh i have events in canada that you're gonna have to be at so yeah, I know. And you have a girlfriend who lives in Canada, probably wants to see you. So eh. yeah. Yeah, um, I know. I know. Justin, How much uh, do you actually care about her if you don't even have a passport to go to Canada? Good point, guy. I stop. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> uh Justin, have you ever been anywhere other than like vacation spots? Have you been no, in any other countries? Really. No, no, I'd fucking I'd love to. I'd love to go somewhere. <laughs> And I just put a I just put a post up today about traveling because I posted a picture from FIBO. Yeah, with your fake it. shirt. Yeah, <laughs> you like that? <laughs> First thing I picked up, I was like this idiot. I was like, well, I knew people were gonna. Out. I knew people were gonna say it, so I commented anyway. I'll just show someone, you. Someone remade that with a with a better shirt. No, look what he did. Like, like, <laughs> he went. He took the picture, went into his story, made it, screenshot it, posted it. Exactly there you go. It. He knows. See, <laughs> the listen, Justin. This is what you got to do. Anytime you wear anything that doesn't, you know, oh. you gotta, you gotta wipe the shit out, and then like. Okay. Put, Put hostile on it. I gotta say that I've done throwbacks and like still keep the old sponsor. And like I, saw I do that too. I, like, I do too. I'm just joking. I thought it was no, be but funny. I thought it was. I was like, that's a pretty fucking good and funny idea. It's pretty funny. <laughs> but if you're if you look at, at it like right there, you almost can't tell. Yeah, it's just like if you glance at it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyway, there's no, plenty of people that scroll through that in your feed and probably had no idea. The reason uh, I was thinking about it, I just thought about it today is I got lucky traveling to so many different places and bodybuilding. So like, 
hopefully one day, Justin and Nick, when he gets a passport, get off your phone, Nick. Uh, this received really good news. I'm sorry. What'd you get? Tell, it? Forget it. Tell, forget can't what you're saying. Tell me what you're saying. Tell me. Can't tell. What the can't fuck? You. you can't you do can't? that. No, no, no. Time out. That's Time like out. guy saying he doesn't have a girlfriend and not telling us. <laughs> yeah. But guy does have a girlfriend. No, I, I, I tell you guys. I, 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 I. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what's going on, buddy? Tell us. Tell us, Nick. We're excited for you. Give us a hint. Let us start guessing. Yeah, come on. Nick. You Nick. got invited to the, you got invited to the Olympia. Nick. <laughs> Where do you the Olympia? <laughs> you got invited to Darnold. I'm already getting invited to that. You got approved for a home. He Wait, already has a That's it. I got it. He has a house. You got approved for a home. I'm moving. Yes. Are you moving? To Canada? Yes. He's moving to Toronto. No. <laughs> Where are you moving? Where? Tampa. Tampa? Oh, why? Because I want to. Is an MI40 gym? Isn't that in Tampa? Are you going to be yeah. trying to MI40 or Powerhouse? Probably both, but probably yeah. mainly MI40. Yeah. I like yeah. the power. I've never been to the MI40 gym. I heard it's awesome, but I, uh, I've never, I trained at the Powerhouse gym. I like, the, I like that one there. MI40 is a phenomenal gym. Yeah, yeah I've never been. Phenomenal. Um, well, that's good for you, Nick. Is that the news? Yeah. Is that really the news? Are you fucking with me? Yeah, no, I swear to God. Congratulations. So what, what was the yes? You, 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 you got approved for a house? I got approved, yes. Okay. So you so, found a house or just got approved for like the... I found one. Oh, cool. Are you renting a spot? Because you just bought that place you're in right no, now. He right? bought it. He bought a place. Yeah, right? I'm selling. Selling this one. Yeah. Is the next one bigger? Yes. Does it have a hot tub that you can shag in? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Hot tub? What the yeah. fuck? You don't need a hot tub. tub. It's fucking hot as shit in Florida. You can go outside and fucking sit in a puddle. It's a hot tub. Yeah, that's true. Well, good for you, man. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, that's awesome, Nick. Nick's on yeah, to his sec- second home already. The great news he couldn't tell us. Yeah, yeah. why couldn't you tell us? Are you going to fucking message me after and be like, hey, bro, can you cut this out? No, I don't care. No, he's not cool, Ad. <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> I've gotten that message from all of you at some point in the last two years. Never me. Not except, me. Ju- except Justin. Justin. Yeah, he's not, hasn't been on long I, enough. Name you the know, time I'm, 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 I'm sure. I'm, I just I'm sure it'll it. happen. I just make a stink during the episode to make sure it gets deleted. <laughs> <laughs> you guys realize we don't talk about anything on this podcast, right? But yeah, that's why I do it. Let me tell you something. I, oh, so ready for this? Ready. I fucking can't. <laughs> I swear to God, every time I, I fucking, every time. I'm ready. What? Tell me. Hold on. Who are you looking at? Is your girlfriend there? Dude, <laughs> She's probably in the bedroom waiting for you. She you, want me, you want to tour my fucking house? Yes. I want you to go to every room, okay. open every door, and make sure she's not there. Not I don't believe right you. Now? No, no, I'm just joking. No, no, no. <laughs> what were you going to say? I'm happy for Nick. We're at house. Fun. Okay, let's uh, move on. Nick, what are you doing? Remember how my Stop dad... texting. Re- who? To the lease lady. Oh, you, yeah, you text her. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I love how Fuad's got to give him permission who to text during the podcast. Well, no. I- yeah, he took my phone during our photo shoot. He told me my wife couldn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> my God. What is this, like a communist fucking... You see the uh, way his wife was um, dressed? It's not allowed. You can't do that. What? Sure. I, what, what who? Who's tell your wife, tell your, call your wife and say, come back home, put some clothes on. I don't worry. I have cameras at the gym. I've been, I've been checking. <laughs> You've been watching her. You're just as bad as no. I am. <laughs> I do, though. Dude, his wife, his wife left in a sports bra. They like, basically just covered like this. No. Yeah, it had holes here where their nipples were. <laughs> Did she have the little pasties over with the little with and the little? And no, she, no. Her, her shorts were this long, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Was her butt cheeks hanging out? Yeah. yeah, they look good. I'm sorry, Justin. I'm just fucking around. Okay. His wife. So, lo- his wife looked like a power, or like a like a CrossFitter would, yeah. and she just walked out the door, went and trained, like yeah, a fucking like a soldier. Anyway, handstand walking all the way to the gym. Tell, tell us what you're going to say. So I made Rice Krispie treats to go to Pakistan. Oh, great. Good ones? You almost killed your dad again. Lucky for him your dad me. ate him again? No, no, no. I brought I, These ones came with me. So we take off, and I eat one. Bobby eats one. My buddy Mo, I'm like, you want one? He's like, yeah, my girlfriend. Wait, wait you did this on the plane? Yeah, all the oh, time. Okay. So 
we take off, we go to, Ist- we fly to Istanbul, we land, we all like, we're ha- having a good time on a plane, in and out of sleep, whatever. Istanbul was only two hour layover. So we get on the plane from Istanbul to go to Pakistan. And I'm like, anybody else want another edible? So I'm popping another one. So my buddy ate one, I ate one. And I'm like, Mo, do you want one? He's like, yeah, yeah. So I gave him like the bag and he gave it back to me. I put it back in my bag and that was it. I didn't think anything of it. So I can start to see he's like actually getting high because he's acting like a little foolish. But then like after like an hour or two, I like look mm-hmm. over and he's pulling one of these. <laughs> he's, oh, getting yeah. fucked. he's fucked up. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I, so, so I go to Bobby, I go, bro, I'm like, and I start filming him. And he's like, like this. So all of a sudden the fucking plane lands. So you know when the plane lands and it like, er, 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 and then it yeah. like, fl- and then it slows down. Yeah. Well, it was going and slowing down, but it wasn't nowhere near like, fucking coming to a stop yet he jumps out of his seat my buddy turns around because the bathroom was right behind him goes to go in the bathroom the flight attendant gets up and was like because i go mo you can't get up yet and the flight attendant gets up and goes like this he mushed the flight attendant and points to the bathroom (laughs) flight attendant flips the thing he goes in the bathroom and all i hear is oh no he threw up Dude, for like 10 fucking, dude, the whole business class smelled like vomit. Because he was that high? Yes, Nick, because he was that high. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm sorry to ruin the story, but Nick, is that a new shirt? Yeah. Is that your, is that your, like, your brand? Yeah. One of those drop. He thought it, he thought it was Uh, a fucking mutant shirt. No, no, no. I'm I'm (laughs) proud of him. He's got his own brand. Well, if you follow the guy, he's been posting about this stuff. Well, you don't follow your you don't, pay, you don't pay attention. I follow him. All I see is hostile stuff. I Nick, have I complimented you on your mutant shirt? One yeah. second here. Fuck yeah. this shit. Don't fucking talk Nick, shit. Check your text. What? Don't text. There's no secrets here. No, 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 no. I can't say what I just said. I seriously. Oh, okay. 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 I'll Let look. me see. Look, uh, Justin, before you run your mouth. Okay. I always run your mouth. Do you see any mutant shirts? Uh, it might have been on his story. I don't know. Uh, I don't watch. It was stories. on a story. I put I it on a few story. Times, yeah. I don't watch stories. That's why. Well, you gotta watch my stories for that. I don't. Wa- I don't watch anybody's stories. Well, I, I mean, feel sometimes. Sometimes. I watch your stories. Story. Do you? I watch all your stories. Do all you guys watch stories? Yeah, bro. That's how we. That's how I know what guys doing every day. What Justin does every day. Yeah. I mean, whole story. All right. Well, I'm sorry. Fuad doesn't Stories. watch. Fuad, listen, Nick, Nick, Fuad Let's doesn't watch shit. He's going to go to somebody's stories now. What? What do you mean I don't watch shit? You don't I'm watch busy. anybody's I'm busy. Stories. I don't have, have a school. You have admitted to me you don't even watch my stories. Okay, They've admitted wait. it. Ah, shit. Let's see. Okay, repost. Repost. It's just not a repost. repost. I know. What am I missing? It's all repo. Wait, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> what what am I missing? They're all reposts. I'm not missing anything. Well, maybe not today. All right. Well, when we, <laughs> we have to watch your stories so we can watch you train. That's the only place you post your training. Well, because I feel like it's too boring to try to post it like in my feed. Why? I, no, that's not boring. I, I watch your story. I threw, I threw up the other day. Yeah, train legs. legs. You big pussy. Uh, you know, that so we, couldn't, we couldn't tell how much because we, there was only like a glob that came out. Yeah, like, we actually, I don't know. I think it was just my pre-workout meal was too big. We did train hard that yeah. day. What did you have? I don't know. I normally have a small pre-workout meal, usually like chicken, rice, something, maybe a little bit of avocado or a little bit of coconut oil. I had some leftover pasta from the night before. Oh, dude. Oh, no, dude. but listen, but listen. No, no, listen. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, listen, listen. So I had some ground beef, which I also never do pre-workout. So I had a little bit of ground beef, and I had one of those, like, square uh, Tupperware containers full of pasta. But those Tupperware containers are only literally, like, this deep. Like two right? cups. Yeah, it's, like, literally like that and, like, this deep, right? So I'm like, okay, I'll just throw this pasta on top of – I felt lazy. I didn't want to cook. I'll throw the pasta on top of the ground beef. I'll smash it. It's going to be an hour and a half before I train anyway. So I did, but it just didn't sit well. 
It just and also when I poured it out of the Tupperware, it was way more than I expected. But then it was already being warmed up, so I'm like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna eat it all." <laughs> so so I ate all of it. Yeah, you gotta eat it all. Yeah, I gotta eat it all. I can't leave like a little handful. So I just ate it all, and then I think it, it started fucking <laughs> me while I was training. Sacrifice that regret. That's right. <laughs> what did you say? I got fucking roasted by the logbook crew because of our last podcast. But the why? Last- what happened? I didn't even say anything wrong. I literally yeah. said whatever works for you. If the logbook works for you, then use it. If it doesn't, then don't. Just it's like you guys. You guys actually, I watched that. You guys had like valid points. There was yeah. Like- Nothing so wrong with it. I didn't, I don't think we said anything wrong. And I literally always say at the end of these conversations, you have to do what works for you. I think the only thing is like, you guys are talking about like, yeah, everything, every day is not gonna be the same. And I agree. Like, I don't, I don't always win. Like yeah. I don't always beat the logbook. I don't always try to beat the logbook. But this was, this was an interesting point that somebody brought up in the comments section was that it's not about beating the week before it's about the constant trend but trending upwards. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I have two points about that. Sure. When I spoke to JP about it on the podcast, he literally told me it's about beating the week before. Yeah, I mean, it, that's all he said. And he said, if he doesn't beat the week before, he's fucking pissed. It's like ruins Ugh. his whole day. Yeah, I think Jordan's like a, a, a fucking but, devout. Like, but this is the premise. Book. This is the premise I have to go on when I'm talking about sure. the logbook. Because I'm like, there's no way I can beat every fucking week the week before. Yeah. Eventually, Jordan, Jordan brings one pound plates. I know so he does. He told put me. Put a fucking pound on, and then that's yeah, yeah. when... He you know? told me, he told me, he's like, I don't care if it's one pound or one rep, as long as it's yeah. more than the week before. So right. in that regard, I'm like, well, that doesn't always work because yeah. you're not always going to be able to do that. So that's kind of where I got my premise. And then if you're talking about a trend, well, I don't really need a logbook to know that I was benching two plates uh, two months ago and now I'm benching three plates. Like yeah, I, I don't. The biggest thing is like, if I just pull up, go to like a pull down stack and I'm like, what did I do last week? I don't remember. Well, now I know I did 190 for 12. So then I'm thinking, let's do 190 for 13. And you have that fucking set point and you, and you fight for that 13th rep. So this is what I think and about. This is, the, this is, I don't really want to go into the logbook thing for no, hours. No. This is kind of my final point on it. And I'll just use myself as an example. I was able to get to 260 pounds on stage, never using a logbook. Right. There are other guys that use the logbook and got to 260 pounds on stage, which basically proves the point that whatever works for you, works for you and there's a million different ways to do things so there's no i've never, I've never used the log book yeah and nick's fucking 290 pounds with fucking abs so it just goes to show you that you know dorian yates had dorian yates had a journal that he wrote everything down in right so you know guy you have a journal too i still i still use it right now yeah so like there's people that do that i'm pretty sure ronnie coleman and jay cutler didn't have journals i don't know if they did right and but i like, do it because i do it seriously because i enjoy it no, and that's that's my whole point. Yeah, yeah. That's my whole point. If you like and doing it, it, yeah. If you like yeah, doing it, and you like the last year doing that, like it fucking works. So I was, I, I'm enjoying it. It works. That's my can point. I tell so you? When you guys say logbook. You're only talking training, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So I have a logbook that I write all my meals, all my supplements, and then I write down what I did in the gym, and I write down the sets, not the reps, not the weight. Only the weight if if I know I hit a weight that I haven't hit before. Yeah. See, I know like Seth Frosty did a similar thing where he logged like all his food, all his cycles, fucking how he felt, everything. Like to me, that's to me, that's the best way to do it because I have every I talked, I talked to myself within my training. Like I like within my training log, I I like, you know, annotate and make notes about how I felt that day or like Yeah, I like that because then you can say, okay, see what I would like about a logbook is let's say you bench three plates this week and last week you benched 275. Or let's say the reverse. Last week you benched three plates. This week you benched 275. I like having a journaled law book, log book where you're like, I don't have to necessarily beat it every week, but I want to know why I didn't beat it. Yeah. So like I wrote down, you know, maybe I missed a meal today or I didn't yeah. sleep that well last night or I didn't drink as much shit. water. Where I say my shoulder's bugging me, backed yeah. off to yeah. two plates, did 20. Yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah. And then the, the other comparison, some of the person was making in the comment section and it was, an, it was a, you know, a nice conversation. We weren't like shitting on each other, but he said, mm-hmm. uh, he said, you know, you, you keep track of everything. You can keep track of your weight. And I'm like, yeah, I use a scale to track my weight, but I don't write it down. Like I, I, you know, I go get on the scale. I know I was 290 last week and I was 280 this week. Like I can't, I don't need to write it in a journal. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I think just to each their own, really. Like if you enjoy yeah, I, it, the one thing I can say is when I did the Arnold prep uh, with John, the last one I did in 2017, I did four weeks of journaling. 
I literally didn't journal any of the weights or reps I had. I just journaled all the exercises that I did. And then I had about a paragraph and a half where I wrote down how I felt that day. I actually got more out of just writing out how I felt that day. Right. Than I did out of writing anything about my workout. Yeah. Something kind of therapeutic about just. Yeah. Putting something on paper. Oh. My, tr- my training was like this. My eating was like this. I feel like. Yeah, especially at four weeks out. Like that's kind of good to unload. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. So I started competing in. 2003 was my first show and I turned and I started my like I really like started competing hard in 2005 so this right here if you guys can see is every single logbook from 2005 until I retired wow you you take this out this has 2005 on I can open it up okay I have a question for you guy one sec so let's say uh, sorry, I don't want to interrupt. I just have a question about your logbook. So you did logbooks oh, for so you did logbooks for like twenty years, right? So let's just say, yeah. after the first ten, don't you reach a, a, a point where you're like, okay, I'm not really getting any stronger. So like at that point, do you really need a logbook, or is it more instinctual? Because I could see I could see somebody saying, I want a logbook from the beginning to like where I'm kind of peaking. But then I think when you're at someone like Nick's level or like when I was in my prime or like someone like James, like James even said he used to journal. Now he doesn't. That kind of makes sense to me. Cause I'm like, when you reach a certain level, it's not necessarily about beating your previous week. It's more instinctual. So I don't, that's kind of what I want to ask is like, well, after a certain point, for me, I don't, I never did it in an off season. I always did it pre-contest and those log books are from pre-contest shows I did that because every show that I've done that's different was, yeah. was never the same yeah. diuretics, water, salt, food, yeah. cardio. Yeah. Yeah. So I kept those as references. So when I worked with Chris, there would be times where he would be like, what did we do for the last show? And I would literally bring my logbook from the year prior mm-hmm. to the fucking show the week before and yeah. give it to Chris and be See, like, this is what we, and he would look at it and we would go through it. Because sometimes those same things would work. Sometimes they wouldn't. Yeah. Your prep's not always going to be the same. I agree no, with that. And that's you know what? Why I did it. In that regard, I, I would agree hundred percent. John used to keep those notes for me. Mm-hmm. So John would send me my programs and he'd be like, well, last year we did this. This is what you look like. And he yep. would have everything in his email to kind of help yeah. coach me through. So prep, I, I think prep is a different scenario altogether because your body just reacts differently as you get older or as your weight changes or whatever it might be. Yeah. So and I can right. throw those things on eBay for a couple of grand each. <laughs> think so? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe I think people would buy like, them. Yeah, maybe like forty bucks. Motherfucker, I can sell shirts for forty bucks. Like nineteen ninety nine, you could sell it in an ebook. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it only basically did that with like an Arnold prep. I mean, it's DLB, but I think she probably sold the fuck out of those things. Mine? No, Dana Lynn Bailey did that with like her Arnold prep. She like I'm going to do. It. I'm going to do that with my Arnold prep. Oh, are you? What? I'm going to release it. Yep. You have you have journals. You have a whole. I told you. I I told you. I did. I did it for uh, four weeks or six weeks during my last Arnold prep. Oh, your last one. And it's like really shitty stuff. Like when you read the journal, it's like I got in a fight with my wife. I fucking pissed. She went to the gym (laughs) by herself. She went to the gym in a sports bra. (laughs) Fuck her. (laughs) Or it was like the next day, be like, John's pissing me off. I thought I was getting a cheat meal today. Fuck, I got to diet again. No, oh, that's like, awesome, man. That's gold. But it's like really like in depth, like feeling shit. So it's like, yeah. if people, oh. yeah, people want to read that. Yeah. Hey, I keep getting tagged in this whole fucking me and me versus you. And oh, that. yeah. I forgot oh. about that. I'm going to smoke you guy. You got zero chance. <laughs> This is literally a battle. It's of, all about speed. It's all about weight. Speed. It's all about no, weight. Not. No, it's not. It's all no, it's, about it's all leverage. About, no, it's not. It's all about I'm going to drag you it's, across the field. It's all about leverage and speed. It's going to be like a TRX versus a Prius. I'm going to guy. Fucking, literally, like if I drag you across the field, you have to fucking shave your beard off and grow your hair. Done for a year. Fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, Nick, what's Nick, going on, buddy? Nick, who do you think is going to win this? What is it? So this is me. Um, this is, this I is don't death. know. This, I know what this is. You think you think guy's gonna win? I, I gotta like order. I, I gotta buy some cleats. I got good because I already got them. So what? I'm nervous. You might tear some. No, I'm good. He'll tear something before me. I'm. I've already torn You're everything. Great, bro. Okay. 
He doesn't realize that like half of my football shit was all this. I am gonna fucking drag you on your back across the entire. Gotta watch. Are they gonna go? Fuck! It's not even funny. Are they gonna go? I can't wait. Are they going? Who do you guys got? I haven't seen this. I feel like kidding. I haven't seen it either. I just know nothing happens. Nothing happens. Oh, they they don't. They don't actually go. No, they don't actually go. Are we watching it that whole time? Because I just want to show you guys what the setup is. Well, well, pull it up on YouTube. And then and we like, start, and then we started commenting. I need to do this with Guy Cisternino. And then it just exploded. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> okay. So he, Luke comes back. Let's do it. And then I'm, I said, I'm in. And then he gets Hunter involved. And then he gets he gets uh, Ben involved. Then Guy Jesus. down here. <laughs> do you want a real? Do I really want another L? <laughs> Ben might beat me. You're not gonna beat me, bro. Okay. What? What do you? I want. I want to do it. I want to do it. All right, we'll do it. When you go. Yeah, you're gonna be in Houston. Yeah, mi- yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Olympia contender tears everything. Yeah, Nick, you're not allowed to do it, man. That's bad. I, I'm yeah. like, yeah, that's bad business. You can't do it. I'm a competitor though. Yeah, but yeah, you're too competitive. That's the problem. <laughs> um. All right. So what are we doing, guy? When we put, we got to put something on the line for that. Tell me what do you want? You got to give me your TRX. <laughs> you already have. One. I want two. I want, two. I want your. I want yours. You can sell so you can sell yours. <laughs> oh fuck! Everybody wants me and you to compete all the time. I don't know. I guess we're both the old. I want, guys. I want guy old. to dye his beard. Yeah, I do too, really badly. <laughs> really? But guy would look funnier with no beard and hair, like shitty hair, because he can't grow it out. Bro, you saw you saw, uh, the first podcast we ever did. I looked like a fucking mountain man. You know, my, I can grow that my hair. That was two years ago. Your hair's not going to grow anymore. Uh, bro, do you want me to just grow it just to shut you up, bro? Bro? <laughs> bro? What are you, Jay Cutler? <laughs> bro? You want to laugh? Look at this. Can you tell us anything else good that happened in Pakistan, or is that it? Look, look, look at this. Did yeah, you, you, pro- you promised us that we wouldn't have to talk the entire podcast. I was very excited. Like any night, but then you said that's like every other podcast. So why would I do that? I did say that, but I was just joking. No, you weren't. What did I say? <laughs> why, bro? Why, bro? <laughs> why, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy one of those off you 100%. Hell yeah. I'll, I'll wear it if you send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll promote it. Um. No, did you go anywhere in Pakistan? Like, is there nightclubs there? Like, what's the what religion is? So that? they is that showed me. Thing? They actually the one. Is of it the Muslim? Guys showed- Wait, is it Muslim there or it's not Hindu? It's Muslim there, right? Yeah, it's Muslim. Yeah. yeah. So, is there nightclubs at all or no? Uh, well, so they showed me. They were like talking about like strip clubs, right? So the one guy showed me where the strip club is there. Oh, so God. you can't you can't get on Pornhub, but you can go. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Let, just just strip clubs. Let me, yeah, let me finish this. He showed me a video of a white room with guys sitting on the ground and a girl fully clothed, just jumping around fully clothed. And I'm just throwing money. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. that's so like, it's not, so it's not really a strip club. It's just a club. No. It's, it's, it's just a room with a girl jumping around. <laughs> what kind of fucking strip I'm like, club? yeah, I was like, I'm good. I'm, I'm pissed just hearing that. <laughs> but you got to think of it from their point of view. If you had never really been around a woman and you don't have any access to porn, and this is the only thing you ever had to do with a woman. It might be exciting. True. Right? True, but we have all had access to women. Well, I'm not saying you could go there now and enjoy it. I'm saying if you were born there and didn't have access oh. to all the paraphernalia that we have, it might be exciting. Flash lights, the anal chains. The... I ain't paying for a fully dressed broad. You might, though, if you had never been around a broad or been on a porn site. I'm just saying now I, I would what if the broad had really big tits in that stretch and she was jumping around? I don't, I don't give a fuck. I can't That's see a really them. good point about the tits. But I'm saying... <laughs> yeah, I knew Justin would back me up on the tits. <laughs> He's a tit guy like myself. Um, no, but if you'd never been around a woman and you didn't have access to porn and you could go to this place and this girl had like triple Ds in it's a like, dress and they were just, just bouncing around black eyes when she jumped you'd probably fucking you'd probably go home and have it in your spank bank and the clothes be at least see-through no they were like full black but imagine nick you never were they loose fit it's kind of like it's kind of no, like, it was like a bed you're... sheet it was a bed sheet no but imagine like you know when you're like a bed sheet nick think about this when you're like nine years old and you go to jerk off to like the sears catalog it's like exactly. that it's like yeah. that mm-hmm. right same thing. This year's Don't tell me you didn't do that. Everybody did that. <laughs> I just, it's just funny because I did. That's right. 
So I'm saying it's the same thing. These guys obviously don't have access to porn. So it's the same shit. That's the answer. Right. But if the girl has no, not a big butt and no boobs, just jumping around a dress, then that doesn't. It looks like a dude under there. We're not, what are we doing? Really, it doesn't really do much. This is what she was jumping around in. <laughs> that could be good. That actually looks really good. It, does that stay open? Jump right. for us, guy. Jump. Jump. Move show, us what they, show us what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can, yeah, I can get down with that. Uh, does, but does this part stay open? I need to know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Those are oh, yes. Oh. Got oh, those are nice. Are those yours? <laughs> you got to wear those to the gym tomorrow and make a video. Like <laughs> day. <laughs> like day. Yeah, those are your new leg day shoes. Oh. I don't know, man. I. It's funny, you know. We we laugh at shit, but I'm sure they look at us and they laugh at the same dumb shit we do. <laughs> Maybe. No, seriously, because think about it. No, I always, yeah. I always try and think of like, I always try and think of other cultures and what they think of us. Because like, like for example, they don't eat, they don't eat beef. Over, I think it's Hindus or Indians don't eat beef. Indians, they, no don't eat, they, don't, they don't eat cow. And we're over here fucking just raising cows and eating them for fun. Because over there, they're like sacred. Sacred, yep. So they probably look really? at us like, they probably look at us like we're disgusting. It's kind of yeah, like how we, it's kind of like how we, it's kind of like how we think of like when uh, we see like Chinese in China, how they're like trapped dogs and shit. Yeah. We're, fucked up. And we're like, that's fucked up. Right. But then like, we're doing the same thing to their special. Yeah, animal, right? So that's it's crazy. Like, I didn't even, I never thought of it that way. Burger ads. What's that? Yeah. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. We're over here doing fucking McDonald's ads and they're like, Hey man, yeah. that's our fucking shit. Exactly. <laughs> we pray to the cow yeah exactly man uh okay one thing one thing that i found a little odd we went to a mall because i walked out of the fucking house one day and just totally forgot to put shoes on and i was like after an hour i was like fuck we got to go to a store and get me shoes i don't have shoes how do you how do you forget to put yeah. shoes on right? i just walked out with sandals like fully dressed for the gym and just oh, forgot to put my shoes on yeah can you train in sandals uh, jp does have, huh can you train in sandals? JP does. It's all dirt there, bro. Yeah, but you're wearing sandals. Exactly. It's all dirt. But you're wearing sandals. Yeah, but like your feet get covered in dirt. So? I don't understand. Would you want to walk around? Wait, wait, wait. So you can't wear socks? Like I had socks and sandals on, but like I, we were walking like... <laughs> like like you're walking like in dirt roads like my feet were covered. oh i i have to wear socks i, I had socks and sandals on but i wanted to get a pair of shoes so Nick, i feel like you you sleep with your socks on don't you i do you, you, yeah. have, you have to wear socks really Weird. yeah i have i sex hate with wearing socks, socks. Well, wait, you no. don't, wait you don't wear socks with your shoes i do i just say i hate wearing socks like if i, oh, if let's, I just, could... let's just say you get out of the shower and you're gonna bang your old lady you're like hold on let me put my socks on first no, you don't. No, I mean, if they're already, I'm going to fuck her. But okay, like, but wait a minute. Let's okay. say let's say you're already wearing clothes and you're going to bang your girl. You take, off, you take off everything but your socks? Well, see, here's the funny part. This yeah, is not a... Okay. Sometimes when we're fucking, because I got hard with the floor, so you got socks on, so you're yeah. kind of, you know, losing balance. Stroke game's not on point. So I keep my shoes on while I'm naked. Oh, no. no. Oh, my God. Oh, you got the wait crops a minute. On. Why don't you just get on the bed? I like doggy style. Yeah, you could just go on your doggy style on the bed. No, see the way my hips are set up like this, I can't. I gotta. Oh, be he likes getting from underneath. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Hey, I, now I, all I have is Nick naked with fucking like a pair of Jordans out. I got my pair of Jays on. And I'm going to fucking downtown. Your girlfriend's gonna kill you for telling that story. I'm not cutting it out either. Fuck you. <laughs> Nick um, bangs with you. You gotta make a I'm sure bad. I fuck with sneakers on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad with, with Jay's I fuck with Jay's. Yeah. Okay. No, I hate where man, the first thing I do when I get home from the gym, I take my shoes off, I take my socks off. I fucking hate it. Uh, Just let, them breathe, maybe. let them dogs breathe. Yeah. So I got slippers like that too. Perfect. I can't do it. I feel mm. weird. I feel I have weird. to have something on my feet, but if I get in the bed. So I, I just want to bring this up because people, I, I wear these like military boots to train in now. And yeah, I've seen are, that. They're hilarious. And people are like, oh, your boots suck. <laughs> to me, it's the same thing as JP <laughs> training in sandals. I just, they're cut. You know what? I don't have to lace them up. I don't have to like pull them on. I literally just slide my foot in and walk. Are they heavy? 
No. And the thing is, I have my own gym, so I don't have to like look good for anybody. I wear my big moon boots that everybody makes fun of me for. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I no, no, I, I don't. I just those like, are the moon boots. I, I assume your like, warehouse was cold or something. No, I literally just am too lazy to bend over and put my shoes on. Yeah, no, they're fine, dude. So I just like drop my foot in and go to That's the gym. It. Those are my Under Armour shoes. I just yeah. slip my foot in. I don't have to tie them, and I just. I'm gonna. Get, I'm gonna make a public apology. I, I'm sorry, guy, for roasting you for wearing moon boots. See, I told you. <laughs> yeah, you you had it right the first time. I know I, I did because I wear mine are military boots. They're cooler, but uh, my I, my mine are pretty cool. I think military boots are cooler. I've always liked. Them. I would wear guys. I'm fascinated by military shit, so I would just like just feel like a soldier when I put on. No, I have on. military boots, but I just oh. trained in my Under Armour. Yeah, while you're military, while you're working boots. the heavy bag wearing those boots, I bet you feel so badass. No, <laughs> no, wearing them military boots, jumping rope. He's like, I'm the fucking. I don't, no, I don't do anything active in them because they're always unlaced. I just literally wear them because I don't have to fucking. It's like because I thought of it because JP wearing sandals. He probably started doing that for the same reason I wear the fucking military boots. He's probably just too big at some point. He's like, fuck it. Oh, I'm yeah. going to put my sandals on and I'm going to go to the gym. You think it's hard for us to tire? Because that guy's the 300 pounds and like five that's, foot three. That's what I'm saying. And that's probably where the fucking sandals came from. <laughs> he's so probably true. like, I don't want to yeah. bend over, put socks on. I don't want to put. Sure. So he just slides them on and gets out the door. That's what I do with my fucking boots. Yeah, I seen like him at a wedding, all dressed <laughs> in suit and tie sandals. <laughs> no. Are you serious? <laughs> really? <laughs> that's dude. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. You know, when you, when you commit to your shit that much, that's great. Yeah. Pretty badass. Mm -hmm. um i get married again i'm wearing crocs you're gonna get married again to your new girl i love crocs how's things going with your new girlfriend now babe yeah absolutely i can't oh, wear the crocs. wait a minute though yeah don't your feet sweat in the crocs i was going to ask you that well i have like the insulated ones and then the non-insulated ones but you, yeah, wear, you wear with socks or without without yeah. socks and they don't like sweat the <laughs> The non-insulated ones I wear with socks sometimes, but like the insulated ones I don't. I wear them like slippers with no socks. I feel like it would my foot would sweat in there. It'd be gross. No, it's I like, always have the There's socks. holes in them. They fucking breathe. That's I like know, it. but it doesn't feel like it would breathe like a sandal. It feels like it would be. It musty. breathes pretty good. It's probably musty in there. Mm, no, no, mm -mm. no more musty than your I'll fucking. Go smell feet. mine right now. Mine smell. No, my boots smell great. Yeah, yeah. I doubt it. Mike, what? <laughs> what, Nick? That boot don't smell great. My boots I wear, smell great. I wear these every that sleep. That boot smells like gross. Dude, I literally wear fresh socks every time I put my shoes these on. These are destroyed. And yeah, you are a weirdo when it comes to hygiene. And so. my feet don't fucking stink. Ever. Because you take 87 showers a fucking week. That's okay. I'd rather you make fun of me for taking too many showers and smelling like shit. Yeah, that's true. That's right. true. I'll give you that one. <laughs> I don't think five showers a day is necessary, but hey. So how are things going with your girlfriend? Seriously. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm God, really man. interested and I'm happy for you. We're your friend. We want I don't to have a girlfriend. I want to see you. Be we one are day. your friends. Tell everybody your, her name. How many of them? Um, How we old is she? From How this? old is she? You can't find friends like us. Is she in the fitness world? What are you saying? No. What, what? What's her background? What's her religion? White. Does she have kids? Is she a blonde or a brunette? <laughs> She's a blonde. She blue, blue eyes or blue eyes, blue eyes or brown eyes. eyes, big tits or little tits. <laughs> Wait, you, you nervous did you, little girl. Did you lick her butt? <laughs> I'm just laughing because this is so ridiculous. <laughs> Does she like your TRX? Oh, she loves it. Everybody loves the TRX. Yeah. Did she ride the TRX? I actually had a guy pull up beside me. Yeah, was it today or yet? yesterday? And he like slowed down, and I was like, "Is this guy about to start something?" And he's like giving me the thumbs up, and then yeah. we get to a light. And he was like, is that yours? And I'm You're like, that guy's like, this motherfucker trying to start shit. Yeah, it's like, like giving him a compliment. Like, yeah, I'm like, what's going on? And then he's like, puts his thumb out. And then we get to a light and I roll down my window. He's like, is that yours? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'm like, thanks. I'm like, I just got it. He was like, he goes, floor it. I'm like, I'm just trying to take it easy. He's like, fuck that, break it in. So I was like, all right. So I, just laid it, I laid on the gas and just fucking took off. So easily influenced. Yeah. He's like, I'm trying oh, to take it easy on it. He's like, fuck that. I was like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's a good feeling. Half, half a tank today, $87. I'm like, this I is no, crazy. I just filled mine up 200 bucks. Half a tank. I, I was a little under a yeah. half a tank, it was $87.50. Listen, I know you guys don't care about cars, but it's a really good feeling. Because when I cars. bought when I bought my very first uh Corvette, it was when the new like C7s came out, like the one Nick has um yeah 
I remember driving, I bought it in Buffalo and I drove it across the border and I remember driving down the fucking uh, 403, which is like a major highway here. And like, all, there was so many cars. Every time I rolled by, they were like fucking sticking their thumbs up and shit. I'm like, that's fucking Fuck really, yeah. it's a good fucking it's feeling. Cool, man. Yeah. And then, yeah. But you know what I found is they don't do that for really expensive cars as much as they do for like American, like Vipers, Corvettes. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like you get more jealousy when you have like a, a Lambo or something like that versus like when you have like the, the American made shit. Right. Yeah. Most people don't look at my car and think it has 625 horsepower. That's why I want to get rid of my TRX because it doesn't feel like I don't feel like I'm getting what I want out of it. I you like you're the, not getting the thumbs up. I like the <laughs> thumbs up. I want the thumbs up. I want the fucking thumbs the up. approval of my peers. I don't I need, I don't need I, approval. I just I, want to feel like, listen, if I'm spending, this is why. If I have a car that has 600 fucking horse, I want it to look like it has 600 horse. I mean, my I, I love my car and I like that it's kind of a sleeper. No, no, no. And that's totally, I love your car too. But I'm saying like for my daily driver, I don't really give a shit how fast it is. I want it to be just like, you know, my Escalade is really comfortable. I'm happy with it. But if I have a fast car, I want it to look fast. And I want to like enjoy looking at it. Like I like looking at like mm. Corvettes or fucking Audi R8s or like a fucking yeah, Lambo. Like like, All right, sir. I get more people impressed with my BMW than my truck, and my BMW doesn't impress me. Yeah, that's because that's you know what the thing is with that, and it's the same thing I, when I had my Jeep Cherokee uh, Trackhawk. Nobody knows what they are unless they're car people. Yes, yeah. like unless you're a car guy, nobody knows what an X5M competition is. Nobody yeah. knows what a fucking uh, Trackhawk is. They just think it's a Jeep, and nobody knows what a TRX is. You're like, oh, it's just a big truck. I mean, yep. you have an idea when you look at a brand new BMW on 22s. I mean, it looks it looks pretty aggressive. It but... looks nice, but you don't know it does zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. Yeah, exactly. Right? Whereas when you look at Nick's car, even though, you're, even though your Beamer is faster, his looks faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, what I, that's what I like. If, like. if I spend that kind of money, I want to feel like it I looks... I want motherfuckers to know. I want motherfuckers to know. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like, like having... I've always liked sports cars. I just like sports yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah, I like, I I love that. Like, yeah. I love that. I just, I bought mine because I wanted like the functionality of like a SUV, throw my yeah. gym, and, you know. Yeah. I get it. I get the it. The TRX to me is like a sleeper because like people look at me like, oh, that's a truck. And they like, they like hit the gas and I'm like... Nope. Bruh, later. <laughs> nope. I've, like, already, I've already roasted a bunch of Mustangs with that fucking yeah. truck. It's fucking yeah, awesome. People yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, let's go on. Sorry about the car talk, guys. I know I'm, a, I'm only a car I, guy here. I loved, I loved how impressed with your Escalade, Samson was. Isn't that Samson cool. the greatest? He's so awesome. You should, you should have. It's seen a nice him. Escalade. It but, is a very, it is a very nice Escalade. But he was like, and then this motherfucker calls down and says, "Get my car ready." <laughs> like your he, mom said it, all, he said yeah. it like it was a movie. <laughs> yeah. All you did, all you did was just call valet. <laughs> you should have seen him that. Like, you should have seen him that night. So we. We, we looked at his wife like, "Holy shit!" We do what, the podcast. We do walk the, the dinner. Listen, we they they took an Uber to uh, my hotel room so we could do the podcast. We did the podcast interview two nights before the Arnold or the night before the Arnold. I don't remember. I'm like, "You're not gonna take an Uber back. I'll just drive you." So I called down. I'm like, "Hey, valet." I'm like, "Can you get my car?" They're like, "Sure." I'm like, "Okay." And I hang up and I get off the phone and and Sam's like, "That didn't just happen." I go, "What didn't just happen?" He goes, "You called and they're gonna bring your car." I'm like, yeah, that's what they do. He's like, no way. He fucking freaks out. <laughs> really? His, his wife freaks out. They're like, so oh, like awesome. overjoyed. And I'm like, but it, it, it made me like laugh. Cause I'm like, again, we take, you take for granted these things that like, like yeah. that, that they don't have valet where they live. That's what I said. I'm like, you don't have valet in, in the UK. He's like, no, I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's like, a, it's like standard, like at restaurants here. I know. But it made me. Is that why they were like, fuck you, were walking to dinner? No, no, I, I don't know. But yeah, those poor bastards, they had like a 30 minute walk to dinner that night. Samson is such a fucking sweetheart. I yeah, think he literally. Really? Is. Yeah. Oh, Listen, bro. Nick, Nick the I think, nicest dude in the world. No, no, he means literally about walking. I think. Oh, yeah. I honestly think Samson just is so nice and so polite. He doesn't want to bother anybody. So, like, he would never call yeah. and say, can you pick me up? He's like, I'm just going to walk so I don't have to bother anyone. I was texting you, like, hey, asshole, come get me. <laughs> <laughs> no but samson and his wife they're just the sweetest fucking people in the world so i love samson awesome people yeah, for sure. yeah. um he was having me crack up at dinner man we were me he was, he was sitting right next to me him and his yeah. wife yeah. yeah we were rolling well we're gonna get together again soon we uh actually guy i want to talk to you about that because we're gonna be in orlando and houston 
So when? Samson, Samson's coming, Samson's coming to Houston and okay. Orlando. So Houston's uh the week after it's branches show. It's the week after oh, and that's in week, May. No, no, June, June 25th. June. The week after the it's the week uh, after our meetup. Okay. You know, we meet it for Aries Nutrition. Samson's and, gonna be there. So we're gonna meet for Aries Nutrition June 19th. The week yeah, after yep. is Houston. Samson's gonna be in Houston. Cool. What's in Houston? That's branches show. Oh, oh yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to be there for that. Cool. Yeah. And then a week later is Orlando. That's uh, Betty, Ed and Betty's show. Uh, it's the UBU Expo for their uh, Europa Pro. And I think Ian's doing that show. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you should come to that too. So we can okay. all fucking, we can all hang out and cheer on Ian and whatever. Yeah, and that's, uh, <laughs> that's like July 2nd. So it's, oh. it's the week after. Yeah. July so 2nd. I'm basically, I'm going to be staying with Ben. After we leave New Jersey, I'm going to go to Texas. Okay. I'm going I'm to stay with Ben for like two weeks and we're going to go to cool. the Houston show and then we're going to go to Orlando. And then after Orlando, I'll come home. That is only oh, one week. Oh. Sorry. What's that, Justin? That is only one week from Jersey. There's right one there. week from Jersey to Houston, but then there's another week from oh. Houston to Orlando. Orlando. All right. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to stay there for two weeks. So Justin, are you staying for the week? I plan on staying for the week. Yeah. Well, maybe you can send it for two weeks. I don't want to, I know you got a business to run. So no, we'll, fuck we'll, we'll I gotta, talk I about that. Please. <laughs> I can probably figure something out. The weed mogul. <laughs> Get my car. <laughs> Get my car. <laughs> um, yeah, it'll be a good time. So we'll do the live podcast in, in Jersey and then fuck if there's enough of us, we'll do another one, like a live recording or something during one of the during the two weeks. Yeah. Fuck, it's going to be good. We haven't hung out since Dallas, so I'm happy to all get together. And we didn't get to fucking hang out with Nick because we, we've hung out since Dallas, bro. It's called the Arnold. Yeah, yeah, but I was busy that whole weekend. We only had the one night hanging out. It yeah, was still fun. That one night was still hilarious. The one night was fun. That was a lot of fun. I was, I was bummed. I was... hung out with Justin one night until he bailed on me. Where'd you bail on him for? When he walked away. Oh. No, what did Sean. you do to him? <laughs> no, he's talking about the Sean Ray thing. He just wants to. Oh, yeah. That was bad. Bailed on him. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> what was I gonna do? Was I seriously gonna hang out and like listen? You're supposed, like to, you're supposed to back him up, Justin. I was just sitting there. Like, I was like, I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, I was like, "Wow, okay, Thank guy, God. Back, bro, guy, I would have stayed uh, there with you if it was me." Yeah, but it, in my defense, guy, that was him apologizing to you. It was not. It was not a confrontational thing. That was a personal conversation between you two. I got the fuck out. You should have <laughs> stayed, Justin. <laughs> yeah, should have kicked my shoes off and got fucking ready to fight. You should have no. like. Should have stayed, you should have stayed for proof of the apology. He, he I mean, did I, for half of it. I did. I heard enough. And it was, yeah, I, it, I just felt uncomfortable. Nick, would you have stayed the whole time or would you have left? I probably would have left. I've seen you a grown man cry. Motherfucker, you would have stayed right by my side. Shut the hell up. I would have sat there the whole time. Just probably because <laughs> yeah, you, you would have fucking loved to sit there for Oh, I would have been fucking just, I would have been like, this is the greatest. I would have took, I would have took Sean Ray's omelet that you I would have turned on, I would have put on my story. I would have put on my stories. I'd do like this. You filmed it. Yeah, you zoomed in. All right. Anyways, let's go on. We don't want to cause any more trouble. The best um, part was Justin when it happened. <laughs> just real quick, when it happened at breakfast, they were all sitting there and none of them knew it was going on. No, we were just on the other side of the wall. I had I no know. idea. Yeah, I had no, no idea. Zero clue. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do some questions. Okay. Uh, never have coffee again, or never have pre-workout energy drinks again. Pre-workout. Never have pre-workout again. Yeah, yeah pre-workout. Fuck you guys. He's I like need my coffee. He was like, You're, you don't want hostility ever again? Fuck no, you. it's not because of that. No, be <laughs> would you, would you really Let's pretend coffee? I don't own a supplement company. I, I you'd, like rather, you'd rather give up coffee? I like my pre-workout, yeah. Yeah, but dude, think about like, let's just say you're retired now. Here in another 10 years, you're 50 years old. You're fucking having breakfast with your wife. But you can't have a cup of coffee. Oh, wait, we're saying that's right. We're saying never again. Yeah, never again. Yeah, bro, uh, not for a short time. Yeah. That's still, mm. that means like for the next 10 years while I'm training, I can't have pre-workout. Okay. No, and you can never go to Starbucks I'll, ever I'll, again. I'll, I'll have a cup of coffee pre-workout. Uh, listen, this is the thing with coffee. I've only become like a devout coffee drinker like this last year. So if I had to dump it, probably wouldn't oh, hurt me too bad. No. Mm. I like my coffee. I love coffee. Especially dieting. Like when I'm dieting, fuck. Yeah. But imagine like so good. Being, being tired while you train. Eh. Dude, I ninety-nine percent of the time I take yeah, what about all the other right ingredients, not just caffeine. Like uh yeah, eh. I, I know. Yeah. But I'll be yeah, okay. Bro. 
Really, eh? Fuck I mean, actually, other, well, actually now that I think about it, I kind of need my hospital. other supplements we could take to help for a pre workout. We're like good. What? Like what? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Like we what don't need do we, we don't need the nootropics and the citrulline and beta alanine yeah. to get big. We already get a pump. You know but what it I mean? feels so good. I don't know. I I do a still so the other workout ninety nine percent of the time. I don't take yeah. Any you know, but, but you're already, but that's still that's still a pre workout. I mean, that's still in the discussion right here. No, no. But what I'm saying is. I don't use the, need the energy out for the stim purpose, so right. I can. Do what he's saying is, on. what he's saying is, if you take Blackstone Labs, it does not going to do anything, so don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the other hand. I'm just joking. I'm joking. Coming I'm from joking. the guy who has a non-stim pre-workout. I'm, I'm just moron. joking, you fucking Momo. Um, all right. <laughs> so let's move on. I'm stick. Yeah, <laughs> let's move on. Yeah, you have Blackstone that Labs <laughs> next. <laughs> Okay. I don't, I'm honestly torn on that one. Cause I really do now nah, like, coffee, baby. Come on. In the last year I have become like an avid coffee drinker. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah, bro. It's coffee. Like I literally like, have one like every single fucking podcast. Yeah. So I got like, like, told in the comments. Part like, of your like daily routine. Like part of my daily yeah. routine is going to Starbucks and getting my coffee. I go in the morning every day. I take my dog to the park. I get a coffee and I take my dog to the park and then I come yeah. home and do some work. When are you going to replace, re- replace that with hostility? Yeah, that wouldn't be. Yeah, the dog work. park <laughs> sipping on great bubble. Would you be able to have a dog? Crazy. <laughs> Brad, would you have been able to have a dog during your competitive career? No. Can I tell you something that's really sad? And people are probably going to get mad at me for saying this, but we just always oh, got to keep, keep it real, right? So when I met Summer, she had a dog, a Kona. Kona was like uh, two, two or three years old, I think. And I was in the most selfish point possible of my bodybuilding career i was 28 years old nothing else mattered on earth except bodybuilding yeah i did not treat that dog the way he deserved to be treated he was the sweetest dog in the world all he wanted to do is be loved and i didn't like i didn't hurt him or anything but i just didn't give him the love or the time did i give him attention yeah the way i like just during a prep or was that just all the fuck man for me like okay you know you have like asshole preps and like you get normal in the off season you had like I an went, asshole career. No, no. <laughs> that was that, that's your whole life. That was my whole time. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. But it's not about being an asshole. It's just about I was always selfish. It's my time. When's yeah. my next meal? When's my next training session? I don't care about walking the dog. I got to go to the gym to fucking get on a. I got to get on a step mill. I'm not going to walk the dog. I'm going to do what I have to do. I don't care about anybody else. Oh. So I had yeah. a very very selfish career. When I look back at it, I kind of regret that part of it. But it's how I had to do it. Yeah. Right, it's like Nick. Nick, I, I mean, Nick takes care of it, does his dog. I'm not saying that, but Nick, Nick got Nick. Fa- Nick found 15 dogs until he found one that was easy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he cycled through until he got one that's compatible. No, but like everybody has their own way of doing this thing, right? Like some people are like, like when I talk to James, this is this is actually a good point. <laughs> when I talk to James, James is very like, I need to be at my house with my food and near my gym, and that's when I'm at my best. I don't want to travel. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to fucking do anything. I want to, I want yeah. my, I want to live my schedule my way. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I feel that. Right. But if you talk to Samson, Samson's like traveling all over the world. He's doing workouts in a hotel room. He's like, I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't that was like my, that was, that was my career. I but traveled I just feel every, like all the time. Some people can like guy, right. Guy's a good example. Some people can just go and do things and live the bodybuilder life while they're doing things. And other people need to be in a home base at all times. Yeah. Like I, some I, people I, that were, better, could like go to like better. Kuwait and like be at like that camp. I couldn't do that ever. Yeah. It, whereas for someone ever. like me, for someone like me, I probably would have flourished there because it's like just eating, training, nothing else. That's it. Being in Pakistan, not being able to even like make my food would fucking drive me insane. Yeah. What were you going to say, Justin, before like, I don't guy, know. A guy fucking interrupted me. I don't even know. <laughs> Okay. what were you gonna say <laughs> no i don't really remember i think i was just saying that i do better when i'm home and locked in and in my routine and i like yeah. I, I like being able to take my dogs for a walk and having uh, dude when i was the dogs the dog park throw the ball and shit like that listen I, you're right you're 100 right my problem when i was bodybuilding in my prime i felt like everything had to be a certain way of course. i didn't like if, if for me it was like if i wasn't doing the step mill i was doing something wrong you're a stubborn fucker. I was. I couldn't like. I couldn't just. Somebody said like. Guy said to me before. Why don't you I stay always the, did the stairmaster. Oh, guys like guys like. Why don't you just take the dog for a walk for half an hour instead of doing cardio? And I'm like, I don't know. I just need to go to the gym and do cardio. It was just 
to i had a very very like rigid way of doing everything that probably also led to a a lot of success for you that's probably why you had a lot of that's what i'm saying like everybody has a different style right so anyway going back to the original point i i i think i regret not spending more time with that dog so i give this dog like a ton of attention did you just not make a connection with the dog like i had a connection i had a connection with kona like we he loved me like we but i just didn't have the time for him because i was too selfish and too worried about my own shit yeah that stuff i mean i know how it is like deep in a prep like i love my fucking dogs but sometimes at three weeks out you're like fucking these dogs are killing me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. anyway so i don't even know how we got on that but uh, oh about the coffee yeah i don't know if i give a because co- honestly i think my podcast would suck if i didn't drink coffee yeah i you eat need coffee. coffee yeah yeah you just need it for that you're my right fate, he's getting fat so you was gay, a- i was gonna say like you gained a little weight since the last podcast yeah. I'm a fucking fatty. He's not fat enough, if you ask me. Not fat enough, yeah. He's well, the still weight got, he's still got feathered quads. I mean, not really. Are they feathered or not? Show me. How's your, how's your glutes? Just take your pants. Just drop your underwear right now on camera. Eh, no. Show your quads. Stand, oh. on the cha- stand on your chair. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah, they he's are. still feathered as his quads. Look, that's not fucking off-season. That's fucking I'm getting there. It's like fucking six weeks out. Nick, stand on your I'm chair so it can break on camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> My chair probably would break. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Favorite snack from your childhood days? Oatmeal cream pies. Oh, that's a good one. You like cream pies, eh? No chocolate cream pies. <laughs> <laughs> I fell into it last podcast. We were asking, we were all talking about what, what our favorite pie was, and I said chocolate cream pie. And James like, oh, you like banging guys in the ass. And I was like, oh, fuck. It was guys in the ass, huh? That's... Yeah. Um, for the dudes. Oatmeal cream pie cookies. Is that what you said? No, it was the oatmeal cream pie. I've never, that even, I've never even had that. Yeah, what? what? I've never had an oatmeal cream pie. Has anybody had an oatmeal cream pie? I think so. It's like a hostess thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's like very soft, too. It's so good. I used to eat like them by the pack. You can, you, yeah, you can eat like 10 at a time. Yeah. Wait, I, I, know what you're I was about. such a fat kid. Oh my God. Are you talking about this? Hold on, let's see. Um, those. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the box one, the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I've had that. I've had that. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's Debbie. No, wait, hold on. What were the ones called that were all chocolate? With like caramel and had like Rice Krispies like on the outside? Nutter Butters. This looks Nutter like butters. No, 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 no. Something else. No, no, no. Not Nutter Butters? No. They were circular. Nutter Butters were long. Oh, were circular? They were called like star something. I don't know, but this looks like a cream pie. That looks delicious. Yeah, looks a little. <laughs> cream I don't pie. care. You're, you're all idiots. I don't Who care. Who's laughing? You're all idiots. It looks messy. <laughs> I would totally put that in my mouth. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> With the cream in it? What the fuck Absolutely, that, that looks amazing. Look at <laughs> the cream is the best part, too, Ed. <laughs> the cream is the absolute best part. Nick, you know, are you fucking following us or not? <laughs> no, what? he's not picking up what we're laying down. <laughs> uh, you guys talking about like? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys are pervs. Oh, we have been laughing about this for five. You minutes. said the I'm cream is the out. best part. <laughs> <laughs> well. Because it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I love you, man. You're the best. All right. <laughs> now I'm fucking oh. crying. I'm crying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nick's not laughing. <laughs> it was like, because he was so soaked in. I'm like, oh, it's so good. It's, like it's so good. good. <laughs> the pie, the cream pie is delicious. <laughs> Let's move okay, on. I'm, okay, we're, okay, we're move on. We'll move on. That, that move on thing, I uh, you have to I trademark told, it. Well, I got told in the comment section that it was disrespectful. It and is then, disrespectful. So I, <laughs> <laughs> well, I move on. Being told to move on. So there, there was like a, a handful of comments that thanked me for it. Like, hey man, we, the podcast needs a mediator. And then there was yeah, me. That's disrespectful. <laughs> it is disrespectful. You can't no. tell the you can't, can't tell, tell the host. host you can't tell the You're host right. where to move on. You're right. I need to I need to mind my p's and q's. No, I don't mind. Let's move on. No, because sometimes 
Sometimes I just I did it once and then it was Listen, like, why is your screen shaking every two seconds? I'm fucking, I'm fucking excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's I'm, your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite childhood treat? Yeah, I already answered. Well, I know. I'm asking them to. Dude, I don't know. I've always just liked a classic fucking Oreo, man. Would you guys fu- think I was fucked up if I said Lunchables? Yes. Yeah. Not a snap. <laughs> Those are terrible. Those are trash. Um, oh, are you kidding me? Samoas. Wait a minute. Girl Scout cookies. Wait Yo, yeah, Samoas are good. I was eating those on the last podcast. One of my favorite cookies of all time. Mm-hmm. Girl Scout cookies. They just came to my door the other day. I bought a couple boxes of them. I would, I would buy cases of them all, mm-hmm. all the time. Wait a minute. You think Lunchables are, deli- are disgusting? Are you crazy? <laughs> are you this insane? Is, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Have you lost your fucking mind? Look how perfect this is. Bro, look those are really face. good, though. It's look basically, it's basically Justin, a sh- charcuterie board. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Real classy. <laughs> These Justin, are awesome. Look, look, there's not one single piece of real meat in that. Oh, no. Who cares? That's the best part about it. It's complete. Look shit. at this guy. He added Oreos to it. <laughs> <laughs> look at it. There's some real meat. Those are good. Oh, some craisins. Nice. This is the up, I don't up, like craisins. This is, this is the upscale yeah. one. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. What did you say, guy? What do you like? I forget. They were called like uh, I don't remember what they were called. Um, they were they were round chocolate caramel and they had like rice krispies on the fucking outside. <laughs> round chocolate. <laughs> That's a good Google search. You see it there, guy? <laughs> <laughs> guys there scroll down <laughs> <laughs> no hey, fuck off you, we can't find it <laughs> this podcast is <laughs> uh, <laughs> all time favorite holiday destination what huh? destination all time favorite holiday destination what do you mean destination? Oh, holiday. Like, they where do you vacation. like to go? Where do you like holiday, to go? They call they call holiday. Yeah, about, yeah, not they're not talking about traveling for Christmas. There, some people, no, some places call holiday. call a vacation a holiday. Nick, what's your favorite place to go on vacation? <laughs> Why don't you just say that? They they call it a holiday in some places. Well, they should just say what's your favorite vacation. Your favorite vacation spot. I haven't I haven't been too many places on vacation. To, I haven't been to enough places. I, I don't know, but I really want to go to Bora Bora. I want yeah, I want to go to uh, the Maldives or yeah. Bora Bora, something like that. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I will say this. I went to uh, where I got engaged uh, in Saint Martin. I went nice. to Saint Martin right. with my wife. It was fucking absolutely awesome. I went on the reason I think it's good, and this is like any bodybuilders coming up or Nick when you get a passport, Justin. Mm. When you guest pose, <clears throat> sometimes, possible. listen, this is, this is a really good idea for people listening. If, if let's say you charge like three grand, three grand or four grand or five grand, whatever you charge for your guest posing, it's better to take a thousand dollars less, get them to put you somewhere for like a week and have them show you around if it's a nice place. So like when I went to St. Martin, I, I think I took like 500 or a thousand dollars less than I normally take, but they put me in a condo for a week and we, I had my own like personal guide for the whole fucking week while I was there. It was the best trip ever because like, you know, when you go somewhere, if you want to go off the resort, you don't only really know where to go. Yeah. If you go with the people that live there, then they can show you like the best restaurants, like the cool places yeah. to go. Like, mm-hmm. so I had a really, really good time because I had a, I had somebody show me around and the trip was kind of free. Was yeah, it so- kind of, was it kind of like, like during my career i didn't take a lot of vacations because i traveled so much i was like being home was like my vacation i didn't try i didn't nearly travel as much nearly as much as you did and when i did it was like there and back i didn't really vacation that was the last the last vacation i went on where i actually enjoyed myself was turks and caicos yeah i didn't i actually haven't been on very many 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 vacations neither have i because i travel so much that the last thing i want to do is get back on another plane and fly somewhere nick when are you gonna get your passport and why don't you travel more I'm a homebody. Yeah, yeah, you don't really like. It just seems like you don't really like to go a lot of places. I'm, I'm like what you just said, man. I'm so locked in on my, yeah, daily regimen. I don't like to go out of it. When you do travel, because I felt, I felt this when I, when I, um, when I was training harder. Does it feel like you're fucking up? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It definitely feels it's it's easy yeah. to slip a little bit when you're traveling. But the thing is, no, no, I don't mean, I don't mean. I know, um, I know, I need to do it more and be a little more looser. But like that's, it's just 
right now that's this is how i am i don't mean if you actually fuck up i mean even if you nail all your meals does it still feel yeah like- because i'm just not in my yeah. environment it just feels yeah. not the same that's what i was talking about guy earlier because i was saying like that's how i was whereas like samson man samson flew home after or the arnold and then flew back the dog and flew back that. to boston and he yeah, was like yeah it's true. totally normal no it's not normal that was fucking crazy it's not normal not i know but i'm just saying like so, some people can like it was, like it was to save money on food yeah, <laughs> which I'm like, but wait a minute, you got two you, grand on a flight, cost you a thousand dollars to fly home. <laughs> um, you know, but sometimes going home and like having that reset, I think that's more what it's about. It's like getting home, being with his dog, spending a few nights at home, and that's what he was he, saying. He I did that one time, and I it was when we did a tour. We went, I went from the Olympia to Korea, came home for a day. And then went back to Czech Republic and then no to Italy way. and then back home. And it was Fuck fucking that. miserable. See, for me, if I come, if I come home, I'm not, I don't want to leave again. Yeah, that's the thing. So I would rather just be gone. Like that's why, like between yeah. the Aries thing and Houston and Orlando, I'm not coming home because I'm like, I just I'm not gonna yeah. want to leave again. It'd be harder to go home. I yeah. feel that. Like, I and those are, and those aren't on... even those aren't even long flights. No, I just got home on, on Friday night at like midnight. I leave a week from Thursday for Sweden for 12 days. I'm gone. What are you doing in Sweden? The gasp thing? Yeah, there's two shows. Yeah, I gotta, yeah, I'm got i gone for 12 days. Are you guest posing? No, Martin and Keon are. Me and Branch are commentating. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, Keon you know? looks crazy, huh? Yeah, he always does. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, but it just does not look like he's going to Classic. He's not. He's, staying in, he's going to stay in 212. Yeah, but yeah. So is it, it's just an amateur show though, right? Yeah, it's like the first IFBB NPC show being put on, I think, in Sweden. Okay. okay. So, like, Michael, obviously, Johansson is, like, a big part of, like, you know, the Swedish fitness, like, just yeah. in general because of Gasp and Better Body. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I know he had a big part of, like, putting this whole thing together. So, you know, he, he's bringing out uh, – it's me. It's me, Branch, um, Martin, Keon, and I think Ivana is going. I think that's the five of us that are going. Like okay. from everybody. Yeah, I think that's that's the crew. Okay. Um, have you ever struggled with the pressures, expectations that have come with success? And if so, how did you deal with them? Yes. Yes and yes. And I did not always deal with them greatly. Anybody else? Same. Pressure. How have you dealt with the pressures of success along the way, Nick? You have probably had a ton, especially at your age. Yeah, I did, especially this year. Um, that's because, you know, I talked a lot of shit, but. Yeah, you kind of set yourself up for that one. Yeah, I did, but it paid off. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I I purposely thrive off pressure. Yeah, I was, was going to ask you that. Do you say that shit because it makes you train harder and stays more focused? I love it when people don't think I can do something. You know, it's yeah. funny. That's like a Michael Jordan thing. Right? You ever watch Michael Jordan, like the Last Dance documentary? Yeah, I love it. He would always like, from what they say, apparently, he would always like have to have an enemy somewhere, even if he had to, even if that he had yep. to fab- fabricate the enemy, because it would yep. make him train harder, practice yep. harder, and play harder. Is that you, Nick? Pretty much. I could see that. Guy, how'd you deal with any pressure, or did you ever feel it? I always felt more pressure to get married at the show, like at the show. It, my pressure never was pre- like I thrived off of being an underdog. So I, I always thrived off of training like a maniac. And in my head, like I was like, I will out train any motherfucker. I don't care if they beat me. They try to beat me. My my struggles came when I got to the show. Why? And because you're, we're going to argue again. I always struggle oh, with the fact that I wasn't I wasn't the most heavily muscled bodybuilder in the 212. So during the shows, I would always get in my head, especially towards the end of my career, and I would fucking just go down rabbit holes uh-huh. because I would always look around and be like, I don't like the like I'm not I'm not like these I'm not. Is there is that a genetic thing, guy, or there's just certain things you wouldn't do? Um, both, both. There's just certain limits that I just refuse to push. Yeah. yeah. Um. And then you, you know, think, do you think your fucking appetite that you struggled with your whole career? I think that. Yeah, I never had a big appetite. Like the biggest I've ever gotten, the biggest I've ever been was two forty two, 
And that was really? like fucking big. Yeah. And that was me like slamming fucking food. That's big at like, five, five, six yeah. or five, seven, or whatever. Uh, no, no, I'm five, five now. I'm not even. Yeah, I mean, five, that's five fucking even, that's even bigger. I mean, five, two, four. You know, I mean, and that's, five. it's a lot of food. And it got to the point where like, I would literally go to bed full and wake up full and be like, fuck, yeah. like my off seasons at some, I'd be like, this is worse than dieting. Yeah, I tell people yeah. this all the time though, but that's what and it people is. like don't understand yeah. it. And I'm like, I, I used to love dieting because I'm like, take all the fucking food away. Okay, I wait a minute. So can I just say something? So you don't necessarily have a bad appetite. You just feel like everybody else. I felt the same way. I would wake up full and go to bed full. And my stomach was always fucking oh, yeah. bloated and full. Yeah. What's that? Just I hate it, feeling that way. Right. Like, where I was just couldn't. I was like, I'm, I'm done. Feel like I cannot feel like this. Dude, anymore. that's how we all feel. We all. No, I'm, saying, if, I'm, I'm saying it during my career. Yeah. It got to a point where instead of eating six or seven meals, even during a prep, I would like Chris would give me six. I'd be like, Chris, I'm eating five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like I just refused to stuff myself and feel like that. I just Justin, hated it. Justin, go ahead. You were saying something. Sorry. Oh, I was just saying we all get to that point in the off season where we wake up and don't want to eat our fucking first meal, and then we don't want to eat the next one. Like I have some, you know, you have plenty of meals where you don't want to eat the fucking first bite of it, let alone the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I've, I've actually, I've actually, I've actually right. cooked cooked meals, and while I'm cooking it, I'm like, "Fuck, I don't want to eat this fucking meal." Fuck, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, 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 I see a lot of friends that can just fucking go and go, and I'm yeah. like, and like, I'm like, the thought of that, like, I, I'll throw up. Yeah, yeah my my meal timing got fucked up today, so I ate right before we did this, and it's what it's been ninety minutes, and I'm eating again. Fucking sorry, sucks. sorry, Justin. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Nick, what were you going to say? You're going to say something? I was going to say that. That's why, like, I think I'm at the point in my career where I don't have to eat like that anymore. Well, because you don't have to really gain more. Yeah, I, exactly. I, yeah. I have to make, I have to grow in certain areas, I yeah. believe, yeah. but I don't need overall size everywhere at this point. Yeah. You're also so for me, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So for me, keeping my appetite is, is like huge right now. Yeah. Okay. And not, well, you, I, and I don't think I need to feel like a fat fuck yeah. anymore, like I used to when I was younger, to try to get that size. But you have a totally different objective at this point, Nick. Your objective is more recomposition. You don't even have to gain any more muscle. If you just brought your waist in by eating less, like you're doing, you're gonna look fucking ten times bigger. So well, that's why, like, yeah, I'm pretty. We pretty much have like a carb cycling diet, like yeah. you know, body parts that need to work. You know, yep. food's really high. Yep. Other training days, it's moderate. And then off days, it's, you know, it's not low by any means. Lower, it's yeah. Low, yeah. a lot lower, yeah. yeah. And I think a thing I did to help, which I should have done early on, is I do cardio six days a week besides mm -hmm. Wednesday, which is leg day. And I do it every morning. And I think, car the, you know, everybody says a cardio helps with appetite. And I think a lot of people just brush that off. But even now, being retired, I'm, I'm hungrier now, and I do I do fucking thirty minutes or more oh, every it, fucking day. Dude, it's proven. Like you can look at. I mean, Stan Efforting has showed me studies where his ten minute walks post mm -hmm. post workout will actually help carb sensitivity. Oh, sorry, man. insulin sensitivity. But what I'm saying, and, as a young meathead, I'm like, yeah, that's no, 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 no. You're right. You're right. I'm just saying, like now, that's no longer disputable. Yes. Like doing a little yes. bit of extra activity will definitely help your appetite. Anyway, we're way off the question. <laughs> Pressure came for you at shows. Pressure came for me self-induced at shows, yes. Justin, do you ever dealt, have you dealt with anything yet or are you still pretty even keel? You I'm seem like a, I mean, you seem like a pretty laid back guy. Yeah, but I haven't really had any pressure in the, in my bodybuilding career. But, you know, outside your, of that business. Your business, your business mm -hmm. though. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of pressure. When you got fucking yeah. a, a dozen employees at Christmas time, you're like, fuck, you know, like there's pressure on you to to continue to grow your businesses you know for the first time i know how that feels mm -hmm. yeah I've, never, it, I've actually because uh it's funny when people talk about signing athletes they don't realize like how much goes into it like we have fucking like you know six or seven athletes that yeah. you know are making pretty good money now and it's like i feel like that's a huge responsibility it is like i have to make sure make sure the keep company keeps growing and make sure you know everybody keep everybody can and also bills, making money all those guys can actually get raises when they deserve them and fucking like all that's a huge yeah. thing that you never even think about until yeah, you're like actually in the driver's seat like i have like a trajectory for like people within my company like yeah fuck you know this guy's been here for four years i gotta take care of him. well it's not just yeah and it's not just the athletes i got people working administratively that are like okay it's been a year their performance yeah. review is up and and you don't want like a high turnover rate within your companies i mean it's just 
yeah. it's tough to restart and retrain people. But aside from that, like bodybuilding, like obviously, it's, uh, I haven't done many shows, but everyone expected me to win nationals. Do you like think I, you're gonna? Do you feel pressure on that one? Yeah, yeah I definitely. definitely okay, sorry, go ahead. Answer that. Sorry. I liked. I felt it, but I liked it. Yeah, it helped. It so definitely. can I can does, I ask you this help. question? I yeah. ask you this question. So you're gonna get. You're probably gonna get a lot of pop popularity from the podcast you, yeah you, you're gonna no i'm not trying to suck my own dick i'm just saying like a little bit. But, but, but but here it comes but i'm gonna try and suck yeah. it anyway here we go <laughs> no bad, no bad. <laughs> Green, I'm trying to suck my own dick, but Green's the best part <laughs> let me let me slurp it real fast okay wait i'm not that's not what i was trying to say you fucking cocks what i was trying yeah. to say is this justin's taking a year off so nobody's really gonna see him but a lot of people are gonna see you on here talking and you're getting a lot of fans that mm -hmm. way and what i'm saying is because of your previous show and the way you looked and the way you go about your training and your eating, people are going to expect you to be like, yeah, one of the I'm, top, top guys, if not win New York. So yeah. do you yeah. think, do you think the pressure of getting to the pro level and having that expectation on a big stage like New York is going to be something you thrive in, or is it going to be something it are, it already kind of keeps me in check, you yeah. know, like, like I got to fucking do this show here in, in 13 months and, and yeah. people are expecting a lot out of me. See, I always, I'm expecting a lot out of myself, though. Like, yeah. I, I know what I'm capable of. And, like, I don't want to let myself down. But, like you said, I have a lot of people messaging me that are, can't fucking yeah. wait for my pro debut and all that yeah. stuff, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah there's, there's pressure. But, but did, did my you know, text message before you turned pro make you nervous? Oh, I didn't really care if you. <laughs> 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 no, um. I was actually really I was actually really nice in my day. No, it was. It was a super nice message. And I fucking, I mean, I, I know you meant it. It was great. I really appreciate that. But that was like show day of nationals. Like I already in my head, I was I already had it wired. I was winning. Like I didn't ever fucking do you have that. to think like that's that. great. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. great. I never had that. And I was like, I was probably more like guy. See where you are right now, Justin. Like when I knew I had a show coming up, like I was gonna get ready for a show six months from now, I would be totally locked in and enjoy the pressure. For me, the pressure started to overwhelm me when people would talk about me. So there would be like earlier yeah. in my career, people would be like, oh, this guy's got potential to do this. or This guy's got potential to do that. Or he's going to be top six at the Arnold or top four at the Arnold. Whenever those things would happen, that's when it would start to fuck with me. Yeah, for and sure. And the pressure would become overwhelming. I wouldn't like, I wouldn't dive into it. I would like re retract from it and it would make me worse on stage. Yeah. That's why my worst... That's why my worst showings ever on stage were always the biggest shows. Yeah. My best, my best looks ever, which you would think is totally counterproductive. My mm -hmm. best looks ever came at smaller stages because there was nobody watching. Right. Whenever all eyes were on me, it would be, it would start to fuck with me. I definitely worked harder for this prep because there are more eyes on me. Yeah. That's a very, very uh, great trait to have that, that, that you oh. and Nick, that you and Nick have that because if you can thrive in pressure, you can fucking do anything. You know, and there's a lot of it, like, I, also, I didn't want to let Matt down. And, like, Matt also has a reputation for, like, bringing his athletes in fucking peaked. So, like, everybody's like, oh, well, he's Matt's athlete. He's going to fucking come in and nail it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. So, I got to live up to that. Obviously, Matt, I just followed everything Matt said. That's it. Yeah, yeah. All I yeah. did was do well, that's exactly. what you should. That's what you should do when yeah. you have a coach. Yeah. And, and yeah. it worked. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I will say this, though. In business, I'm different than in bodybuilding. Yeah. I've been able now to do kind of what you and Nick do when something's on the table. That's a problem. I can go like fucking head through it. Fuck yeah. Instead of retract from it. So I don't know Absolutely. why I think I learned from my bodybuilding career. Yeah. But and I, I think don't know. You always talk about, you always talk about how like you only did as much in your career as you believed you could do. hundred thousand percent in business is fucking everything. Thousand like I, have, percent. I have friends that we were all in the same place doing all the same shit. I just never doubted that I could start companies that fucking made a million dollars. Yeah. Like, fuck that. I can do it. Like, I'm that, buying property. We're starting this yeah, farm. Yeah. I'm buying a dispensary. We're fucking doing it. I think like, you're I'm buying this gym. I'm making yeah, it fucking happen. Yeah. I think you're 100% right because I said that before. Everything I did in my bodybuilding career, I knew I limited myself. I'm like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I can't do this. I can't do that. And all of those things came true. Like, everything I have right now, I said five years ago, I would have. That's how it feels. Yeah. Like. And you're 100% right in, in business, yes. too. I feel the exact same way in business. I'm like, this is what we're going to do year one. This yep. is what we're going to do year two. This is where we're going to be year five. Mm -hmm. And so far it's like, but my, it's weird. My belief system now, and I think it's because bodybuilding taught me so much is vastly different. I don't put limits anymore. I'm like, we're going to be here in 10 years. Mm -hmm. So 
You just have to believe, you know. It's so it's such a cheesy fucking thing to say, yeah, but I know. it is, but it's it's true. I understand, like for people listening, like it's so vague and it's so cheesy, but it's like the hundred percent truth. If, if you truly believe you can do something, you'll do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. What four letter word can be written forward, backward, upside down, and still be read from left to right? Just four letters. Yeah. Ohio. No, you can't write that backwards. <laughs> yeah, you're so confident. Yeah. <laughs> shit no boob. how you gotta boob. read it front and back boob. the same way boob boob that's th- dude that's not even a word boob boob's a word oh boob no, oh i'm sorry they said fucking buzzkill i'm sorry god i thought you were saying boo and extending it like boo no boob i don't if, you there's a race car front and back you can is the same you know that right race car race car spell both ways is race car boob a foolish or stupid person yeah i like that you're you're a fucking boob in britain it's an embarrassing mistake or it's also make an embarrassing embarrassing mistake mistake. nowhere does it say tit you made a boob that's That's a three-letter word no but i'm saying why isn't hey tit could also be used is titty a t word Ah, i got one too guy (laughs) what tit could also be used I just, just like yeah, it's a three letter well word. that's if you give oh, it it's T-I-T. a four letter word it's a four letter word i'm sorry yeah that's what i just said it's a three letter word that's yeah t-i-t okay i got it nick thanks you should spell it for me t-i-t-t-t <laughs> t-i-t. okay boob moving on genuinely curious if you guys think i fit classic phys- oh we're not doing that here we go uh, one split for let's the rest re- of your let's one, give them. one split for the rest of your life pro split next uh, if Ian could go one on on one date with Brad Pitt, where would they go? I don't know how to ask him. Um, can Matt Max beat Justin and Blessing in Indy? No. Max who? Max Charles. Charles. He's doing another show. I think Max. If I think if Blessing comes in hundred percent, I don't think Max can beat him. Not no. with the, not with the new not with his new new muscles. I got I, I got I got Justin though. Yeah, Justin's gonna win. I think Justin will win. I'm just saying, like, if any, if Max gonna beat anybody, it might be Blessing, but I don't think with Blessing's new muscle that he can. This is what he looks I like. Got, I got Justin. Oh, um, no, 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 but what do you think of this versus Max? The only downfall in Blessing is his legs, still. If you look, yeah, they're still not as big, but they are. Well, big. the other one, I don't know if he's flexing it wrong, but that that one leg, it, it's yeah, not. Looks like it looks like his left leg is slightly downside. Is that right? Yeah, it's not as prominent, but. Is, if this is the recent one, right? The one on the left? Yeah. Look yeah. How much he is. yeah. Yeah. Way, way better. Way better. Yeah. I mean, it, he's harder here and bigger. You got to do this the other way. Like, you have to, sh- I want to read this story left to right. I know. I made that mistake once too. I posted the, the after on the yeah. left. Drives me. Nuts. Yeah. His, his glutes even look really good. Like this shot, legs look good from here. It's just the hamstring's a little short. He's, thought- he's improved a lot. And I, I seen him a few weeks ago. He looks really good. Yeah. I don't know. Max might be able to beat. Um, <laughs> you just clicked on the boat. Oh, oh, that was an accident. <laughs> oh, whoa. Well, the heck did I just see? Huh? I just saw looking at Blessing's look. physique. Yeah, he made vast improvements. Yeah, yeah. he really he looks, he looks great. He's thick, thicker for sure. His back came up dramatically. I saw a picture of it. I was like, wow. His calves look good. Stop. He's a very, very volume type of trainer. Yeah, I've watched you guys train together. It's a fucking long. He, he, I like my volume, but fuck, man. He'll go for days. Okay, so are we really? saying, are we saying Max can beat Blessing or no? No. Okay. Stop. Um, I don't see it. Couldn't, what are we, like four weeks? Five weeks. I think no. it's four, right? I'm not sure. I think it's no. I'm not sure. Four. It's four to what? Four to ND. Five to New York. What is a must-have supplement? PED during prep. Hostility and testosterone. Stop. Don't talk to your girlfriend like that. I fucking don't. <laughs> she wants to go outside. She's got to pee. Relax. PED go and supplement. Got to go pee. Yeah. Your my girlfriend daughter. wants to go outside. Creatine, trend balone. I was gonna say trend. Test is more important than trend. Well, I mean, for the last six weeks, if I had to choose test or trend, I'd probably choose trend. I got to take a piss. 
<laughs> Are you going to go pee? Why don't pros wear workout gloves? Because they're fucking stupid. Because we're not. Fuck, we don't care about our hands. I don't know. I, Dude, no. If we had, come on. What? Yep. Look, I try not to alienate anybody on the show, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, look what, hap- look what happens when you don't wear workout gloves. <laughs> <laughs> That's a <funny> fucking joke. <laughs> okay, Guy, what are you doing? Moving on. Me? Are you talking to your girlfriend? Hey, you you us. Yeah. I was going to make a fucking meal. Excuse me. I've been on for two hours. I'm starving. Go make a guy, meal, pussy. Guy, take over the hosting. I got to go piss. Okay. You got it, bro. What I'm are going to make cream of rice. Don't, you got to make cream Nick. of rice? What? No, I'm going to do where, where are you going? What the fuck? I guess it's just us. How just you been, buddy? You, buddy? What's new? <laughs> just me and you, champ. What's new, bro? Where's my shirt at? You want one? I'll send you one. Yeah, double X. If I, I don't know if I, is that like a normal like tri blend? It's a uh, next level. Yeah, you send me a double X. I'll send. I, I got a bunch of shit. I got to send you, but I only have a couple. You triple? Not really, bro. You're quadruple. Yeah. Are you serious? I won't even wear a Fuat shirt anymore because they're threes. It's like it's like a fucking nut hugger. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. How are you that big? I'm pretty big, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take over the podcast. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> what, what do you want to talk about? So did you are you buying this house? Well, no. Right now I'm gonna have to rent it because I don't technically have a, a job. So what I'm what I'm saying is so you're selling your the house that you because the house you have now you own. I own it, so I'm I, I it's up for market. But so people, you're gonna sell are, it, you're gonna sell it, rent, and then look for something in Tampa permanently. You're gonna I, have to I, I'm, I'm pretty much more than hundred percent sure I have already a house in Tampa. You're well, oh, what I'm saying. Oh, what I'm saying is you you found a house already in Tampa. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the one you're in, yeah. So you're not renting. No, no, that one's gonna be bought. Yeah. Yeah, you you, you said I'm practically renting now because I'm like what? Oh no no, I own this one. I'm gonna sell it, and I already have another one in Tampa ready to go. Oh, so you already like? Did you go look at it and everything like that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. What did I miss? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, we're talking about very, his, very, his house that he's. I'm very, I'm very excited for this one. You gotta, you gotta give us a, bro. You gotta give us a tour. I will, and you know, I, I move in. Are you gonna do a YouTube video tour or just a private? I was gonna tour? think about doing like an MTV Cribs for bodybuilders on YouTube. Are you gonna say all the cheesy stuff they say? Welcome to the mutants pad. You should do it. You know who did one? Uh, Rich Piana did one a long time ago. I thought it was awesome. Well, yeah, but Rich Piana's house was fucking incredible. Yeah. Yeah. My, it, my, mine's nice. Like but, that's that's, not, yeah. I'm that's sorry, not why. That's first of all, that's really rude of you. Justin. Yeah, but okay. But Rich Piana had like fucking Bentleys in the driveway and f- fucking. Why? Is this sn- why Justin, I've never seen this snobby side of you before. I'm sorry. I'm just. It reminds who had a little of himself, so he's excited. <laughs> I got a fucking. I'm like, oh, I got a fellow, a fellow. Oh, I got a fellow. I got a fellow, fellow selfish stop. asshole on the fuck, podcast. Fuck a Bentley. Fuck a Bentley. Listen, nobody cares because he's wearing a. He had a Bentley. People want to see what's going on in no, your you're, life. You're, to, you're totally right. I'm just, I'm just fucking around. I'm just being the antagonist. But I do have to say, it is cool when you have a Bentley. It makes it cooler. Yeah, and he had like a fucking. Wall I, you know, backyard. is it weird? I never wanted a Bentley. I don't. Want I never a Bentley wanted either. a Bentley either. I do want a Ferrari though. I kind of want a Lambo. A Lamb. I was gonna say I'd rather a Lambo over Ferrari. See, a Lambo is uh, a childish man's vehicle. A Ferrari has a uh, uh, heritage no. behind it. So, but do you want it for the heritage, or you want it because you always talk about how it looked, and now it's about heritage? So, which is it? Oh, no, it's both. Ferrari has it all, man. So you're just afraid. Did you ever see the? Did you ever see the movie? Ferrari. Did you ever see, you ever see the movie? Yeah. Ford yeah, versus Ferrari. Yeah. Yeah. Here, it was kind is, of boring, to be honest. It actually <laughs> was. It wasn't that good. <laughs> it was good, but it was pretty fucking boring. It was good, but it wasn't that good. What are you pulling up? The the heritage of Ferrari? No, I'm just showing you the Ferrari I want, which I'll probably never have, but I can always dream. Oh, I can say that shit. Well, yeah. not say it. it's one, one day. One day, one day, one day. I can see your old I, ass rolling around in that. Ferrari, La Ferrari. I will lose 50 pounds if I ever have the chance to buy this. <laughs> uh, that is a... That is a beautiful car. Look that at this fucking, fucking. This is. Just... Who uh, do you like McLarens? Yes, I do. See, I love all of them. I mean, Lambos are really cool too. Don't get me wrong, but Lambos look like 
kind of like a 16 year old drew his favorite car whereas a ferrari looks like a work of art like like more classy this is an art this is a piece of art in my opinion right i think i I'm might want to be over a ferrari though when i what'd you say what'd you say nick I said, I think I might want a McLaren over a Ferrari, though. No, like that. no way. See, look at this. Is I really, like, I like McLaren. This is really cool, but it looks like my nephew drew it. Yeah, right? your nephew drew it. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, look at, look at the art you're looking at. Look at this. Uh, I get okay. I get what you're saying. And then if you look at a McLaren, you're talking kind of, about the intricate details of the car, is what yes, you're talking. Yes, yes, yes. It looks prettier than a Lambo. So this is a beauty. Yeah, but you right? can say the same thing about Tesla. Tesla's a very that's pretty fire. Yo, that that black yeah. one. This is yeah, beautiful, bro. right? This yeah, I think, bro. Yeah. I would take your this little over cousin didn't draw that one. No, this is cool. I'll give you that. <laughs> no, that's the uh speedster. This is a 720. It's probably the more common of the of the supercars. The, those are fucking dope. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could go. What else you got? A Bugatti. This is the ultimate work of art. Yes. This thing's fucking insanity. Look at this. This is like a fucking $5 million car. It's got yeah, 87 exhausts in the back. Actually, I think I'm off. I think it's like 16 million or something like that. But look at this. 16? Yeah. It's this. This is like. This but is it the, says it's 11 million pounds right there. Yeah. And 11 is, million pounds is yeah. almost, that's a lot of money. This is literally like, though, this is like, you can't really get anything better than that. I wonder if I could fit in that. Why I you would I would be afraid to drive that and like even have like a pebble hit it. Yeah, I know, <laughs> Look right? At that. Look at the the detail. What are, you, what are you supposed to do with that? Drive just, it. Just be a fucking baller and not give a fuck. Just fucking roll. If around, you got bro. sixteen mil to spend on that car, you don't give fucks, bro. Yeah, you don't give a fuck. That's what I call fuck you money. Look at yeah. this fucking thing. It you can't. It is, I can't even have to. Imagine have words. seeing that on the road. You can't. You just can't. Listen, I don't even have words to describe this fucking thing. Bugatti, 18.7 mil. Yeah, there you go. All right, anyway, I don't know how we got on that. Oh, fuck got me. Cars again. Uh, fuck off me. I think I'm going to do a car podcast, even though I don't know anything about cars. I want to be on it, too. I don't know nothing about cars. I just want to be on it. Can we talk about how you fucking wiped out and fucking at the racetrack and went like this out the window? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I almost, dude, I was driving. I almost shit my pants when you did oh, that. It was I was hilarious. in the car by myself in tears. <laughs> I'm like this idiot. I was, but I was the only one who drove with it the was traction like, control. It was on. like Mario Kart and somebody fucking dropped the fucking banana peel and he just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We all got our cars. I'm the only one who took the traction control completely off. And was driving it with the paddles. These motherfuckers kept all the nanny shit on, and then that's why I kind of like fishtailed a little bit. But I a little bit. You, I, I, didn't, going in the grass. I didn't 180. I went sideways, and then he went sideways, back. and then I pulled it back. <laughs> and then, and then for no reason, and then he I went like this. Takes his left hand down the window and goes like this, like he's. No, good. I stuck my thumb out. Like yeah, I'm okay. I'm you went like this, and I like just to let us know, like we couldn't see that he got control of the car, but <laughs> mentally he was okay. Well, I was like, it's fucking moron. It's so stupid. Uh, fuck you guys. I don't care. Um, hardest part about. No, I don't want to do that. He's like, I don't want to end on a depressing fucking question. No, is it the hardest part? I don't like like referring to my... Is it the hardest part about owning Hostile? Yeah, nobody <clears> cares. <throat> yeah, I don't want to get into that. Um, using the guys from the chat, what character would you play if you were the Peaky Blinders? I've never, never seen, seen the movie. Guy, you, guys, you, guys gotta, you guys gotta watch it. Seriously. Yeah, I've, I've never seen the show. I, can I be oh my God, Blinders? none of you? No, I've seen like the first two episodes. Nick... You would be the brother that dies first. How oh. the fuck do I have to die? Well, because he you was have the least survival skills. Because he was kind of quiet, but he beat the shit out of people. And I could see you being that guy. So why'd he die? Because he got probably his ass kicked. Because he was period. left, his brothers left him alone and he got jumped. So I got beat up. Well, now you're that, fucking split on the well, show he got for shot. us. He got shot. Yeah, in the head. On the show for us. I think he got shot in the head. Yeah, I don't remember, but he got shot. What'd you say? Right, at least it was a, at least it was quit, a quick. Death. Quit spoiling the show for us. Oh, that's right. You're never yeah, gonna watch it anyway. It's like six seasons. I actually am. I do want to watch it. That is okay. Then you're totally missing out. I'm telling you guys, have to watch it. I and believe you. if you haven't watched Vikings, you got to watch that too. Vikings is a good show. I'm Dude, on like a. I, where do you guys have that? Like, what you you're like busy. Like, where do you find every the night the at show? fucking every night at eight or nine o'clock? I shut everything down and I turn the TV on. That's my for time. how long. Two to three hours. Yeah, oh, you go to bed at like midnight. I go to bed at like 12, one. 
I couldn't sit down for that long to watch that. Uh, I need that. I, I need that time. I need that. What time do you get up for that? Seven, eight. Yeah. yeah. I have that. I kind of have the same schedule. I'm, I'm yeah. I need, look, man. Cause my wife is like, obviously me and my wife run the business together. So we're both running all fucking day long. We don't get to spend time together, even though yeah. we both work from home. So you guys watch the TV together. Yeah. So like eight o'clock, we kind of shut everything down and that's our time to hang out together and watch TV or whatever. That's my yeah. favorite shit, man. I love it. Yeah. Um, what's been your go-to music in the gym lately? Rap. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Anybody? I like that song. I, I've been really playing that song. I'm just thinking about my dick. <laughs> I can't even play it, but I know the song you're talking about. <laughs> the song has been on repeat. How does that yeah. pump you up at the gym? Because I just, I just get into it, you know? <sighs> Okay. I'm just thinking with my dick, you know, it's so true. Okay. Just you want me to give you a good song? It's an oldie, but it's been on repeat. I just want to know what you've been training to. I don't want you to tell me your favorite song. So I have, I've, I been tra- I've been training to Sorry for the Wait by Lil Wayne. Okay. That's a good song. I've been obsessed with it, and it's Justin, an old, like 10 years old. I've been Justin, blasting it nonstop for the past like two weeks. Justin, don't worry, you don't, when you guys don't stop st- talking, I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> you don't strike me as a. A music guy are you a music guy I, no i'm not a huge music guy but we just usually like just shuffle and blast like rap music all day or like i'll okay. i'll just go put on fucking metallica while i train i just had this metallica, argument i just had this argument with paul i said so i've been on a rage against machine kick lately yeah fuck yeah but but i just had this argument with paul i said i don't think i could name a better rock band especially to train to the metallica over all yeah. of the years because for yeah, me it's cool. For me, it's Led Zeppelin. Goes hard. Led Zeppelin, Metallica. There's yep. nothing better than those two bands. Yeah. And if I had to pick one, I think I would go with Metallica. Me too. Yeah. Oh, for See, sure. I, I like I like the eighties rock though. Metallica, Metallica is eighty rock. Favorite. No, I mean like. Oh, you like Motley Crue shit? shit. To be yeah. honest, my my training partner is the fucking music head, so he's always changing the music and putting shit on. I'm shocked as a like a BMX stoner guy. You're not a, a music guy because usually those I mean, guys I, are. I'm into music, but I don't have like you know. Like Hard, a favorite or anything, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, favorites or anything, but so nobody can name a better rock band than Metallica. I think Metallica is fucking one of the best yeah. rock bands. Oh, yeah. Go. yeah, Paul said Motley Crue. No, Mot- not over Metallica. And I'm like, they're good, but not, not over listen, Metallica. It, de- it also depends on your mood, man. This is uh, that's true, but this is why I think yeah, Metallica's, Metallica's got a lot of different songs for a lot of different moods. Yeah, this is why I think so Metallica's got a. I think Metallica is still just as popular now as it well, maybe not just as popular, but popular now. Whereas Motley Crue's kind of faded. Yeah, no. yeah. Like Metallica has staying power. Like they're classic. Yes. Oh, it does. Yes. It is, okay. right? Yeah, and I, you know, I like I like rock and roll. Like I, I still listen to like some fucking Ozzy Osbourne or some Black Sabbath. Occasionally, like, I like that shit, Soundgarden yeah. shit like that. Soundgarden is a big one. Fuck yeah! I like Skid. I like Skid Row. You know, it sucks. We're never going to see bands like some of my favorites, like Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, yeah, Pearl, Alice. Pearl Jam, the whole grunge era. Corn, Corn yeah. was a great Corn. one. Yeah. Corn was the shit. I guess. I you guys remember, remember, do you remember uh, Slipknot was one I used to listen to a lot? Slipknot, I, yes. I never got into Slipknot that much. Really? I never. Yeah. Really. I, I didn't like a, a lot of their songs. So I didn't like, they were wait, like really Wait, wait, Slipknot, but, Wait and Bleed was a phenomenal song. I remember. Before I Forget, it's a good one too. Yep. Yeah. Luke, Luke was. Um, Fred, Luke, you seem more like a Godsmack guy. Godsmack, like Godsmack. great. Yeah, that's another great one. I like Godsmack, yeah. but they're not like my favorite. I'm, I'm like Rage, Metallica, Disturbed. Kind no, of like, I'm. I like, I like Breaking Bad. There's just like a certain type of dude that rocks like a goatee with like a soul patch that fucking loves Godsmack, brother. <laughs> what about, what, what about, what about Limp Bizkit? <laughs> that, yeah. that came and went for me, but I did have a Limp Bizkit. Oh, for everybody sure. had a Limp Bizkit yeah. phase. Yeah. If they were Limp Bizkit comes on. Everybody every, did. I'll, I'll listen to it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I just don't like. If you try and think of a rock band from our era, it's like who do you got? Nickelback. <laughs> Whoa, I'm Nickelback was good. No, don't, don't even go there. Nickelback, don't brother. say Nickelback is good compared to fucking Nirvana and fucking. I'm not. No, saying no, no. I'm saying like they had Nickelback had I some good get songs. down to the Nickelback. No, we hit a we hit a fucking slump for for rock and roll. I'm just saying, there's no rock. Think about a good rock band that compares to the grunge era or Metallica or like Led Zeppelin. Like, Benjamin. <sighs> I wouldn't put that in the same level as Metallica. I'm not the same level, but I'm just saying it's good. Yeah. There's a lot of good rock bands, but like the greats he's talking about. I think we're in like 
well, those, they're, they're the greats for a reason. I think we're in a hip hop pop era where yes. rock yes. bands don't oh, get the same well, play. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sure. even if there is, even if there is a band that's as good as Metallica, it's probably just not getting the same attention. No, no. Yeah. yeah, agreed. I was just training the other day, and I was had a Metallica song on. I'm like, you know what? Just just not anything like this anymore. Yeah, fuck no. Metallica's a shit. Yeah. Yep. Enter Enter Sandman. Or one. one. One is my favorite. Yeah. One's my favorite of all of yeah. all of them. Yeah. See, that's uh, why I need better friends. Would you rather have Bo Lewis or Tom Platt's lower lower body? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Tom Blatt's. We don't want to be burdened with that thing. Would it be a bad thing, though? Like, do you think? Yeah, like, exactly. Yes. Ask your wife. Yes. 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 I'm oh, trying, to, trying to deep throw this fucker. Like, there's a, there's, there's a difference between having, like, a decent-sized dick, a big dick, and then, like, it just oh, atrocious and that, like, thing. Yeah. scares people. But imagine how many girls just want to try it. I don't know how many girls that would fit in. If I had a dick that big, I would never get anal, ever. You would never get anal. Yeah. So I don't want that dick. It's a hard. It's a hard sell. You sure. mean give or get? I don't understand. Give, give, like my dick. Like I would never no, get. Just, get you said I would never get anal. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, like no girl would let me get their buttholes. What do you <laughs> <mean>? <laughs> Where's your Where head? It sound was Nick. You would never for bu- uh, butt sex. <laughs> Nick's asking for butt sex, and he likes cream pies. What the fuck, Nick? <laughs> No dudes will ever bang me if I had a huge dick. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like, what? Okay. Uh, Fuck this. <clears throat> which four wrestlers should be on the wrestling Mount Rushmore? The Rock, Stone Cold, Hulk Hogan. And and Ultimate Macho Warrior. Man. Yeah. Rick Ultimate, Flair. Yeah. Rick Flair. Macho, yeah, Rick Flair. Take, Macho wait, Man, Ultimate Randy War Scott. out of all of them, Ultimate War was like the body, like looked like the most bodybuilding guy. You I think Ric Flair is more popular than Ultimate Warrior. Ah, I, why? Because of the woo? He yeah. stood the test of time. I don't know. Ultimate Warrior did it for me. He okay, was like a answer, answer below Hulk Hogan, <clears throat> The Rock, Stone Cold. Ric Flair are my four. What about what about the Undertaker? They're so they're just. Oh so come on! The four I named. The Undertaker. The Undertaker. The Undertaker's not a gear dude. Okay, who are, your, who are your who are your who are your top four? Me? Yeah. So I would say, The Rock, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior. You don't put Stone Cold in there. You're no fucked Stone up. Cold. Are you crazy? Oh, and Stone Cold. Well, I was. Well, I was saying I had Bret Hart. I had the. I had the Hardys. I oh, had, there's a I, lot of I, great the wrestlers. Hardy you only had to, it's a Mount Rushmore. Like that's. I know. That's why I was thinking. Get your pussy out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you like his asshole right in your face. Love it. <laughs> How about Bret Michaels? Nah. Is this who is the one? Who is who, are, who is your top four, Nick? Um, I'll go Stone Cold. The Rock. Um, I won't put Ric Flair in there. And I want to go with The Undertaker. You left out Hulk Hogan? There's like literally a decade of just Hulk Hogan. Yeah, Hulk Hogan. He's still still relevant. I like Hulk Hogan, but I like Hulk Hogan has his own store. (laughs) Justin, who's your top four? I've never really been into wrestling, to be honest. You don't like music. You don't like wrestling. What do you like? I like pussy, dude. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. No, I would say Hulk Hogan, The Rock. Uh, Stone Cold's got to be in there. And then, uh, dude, Macho Man Randy Savage. Fucking, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Yeah. Thanks, man. All right, last one. I didn't realize we've been on for two hours and 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm supposed to go train here soon. Well, you got to go see what your wife's doing. Are you watching her on the I camera? Fuck. I got it pulled up right here. Trust me. <laughs> is she training with other dudes? He's got that tracking on. <laughs> yeah, her, her training partner is another very svelte man. <laughs> Does CrossFit. He's in great shape. You let your wife train with a man wearing nothing and leave the house by herself? No, What's she, wrong with you? she trains with another girl. I mean, they do get like big groups. I don't get I that's, not... that's three strikes, brother. Oh, off the podcast. No, not for you, for her. You got to have a talk with her. <laughs> We're getting divorced. Glenn <laughs> says, I have to divorce you. <laughs> I know it's funny. Half the people who are listening to this are going to take me seriously right now. I know. People are. Yeah. Okay. And then, then I won't be on the podcast next week. No. The thing that they don't realize <laughs> is that we have a podcast and we have a text message podcast on After. the side yeah. that like nobody knows about. And there's all things intertwined about the podcast on it. All right. Let's do one more and then we'll let 
uh, Justin go train. Go check on his wife. <laughs> why does he, <laughs> go watch his wife? Make sure she's not doing anything wrong. Uh, why does guy? Why does why does guy delete comments? Who? Guy, why do you? Guy, you, your guy. Why do you I delete, delete comments. I don't, I don't, delete, I don't delete any comments. I delete comments. I block people. I don't give a shit. Dude, you know how many times I've been messaged? They, they say why do guys or why do you? No, guy. Why does guy message delete comments? I don't delete comments. So who the fuck? Who asked that? Who the fuck? Wait, who the fuck? Who the fuck is? No, but seriously, I get messages all the time of things that kids want to send you, and then they'll be like, "I wanted to send this to Fuad, but he blocked me." I get that with Fuad, but I get, I get, well, hey, I'm sending this to you because Fuad never answers me. But when no, do I, I answer comments? fucking everybody. Yeah, you're pretty. And, I do. I try and answer everybody. You just like answering everybody isn't liking their comments. No, that comments. is that is. The that's same. not. That's not. I'm acknowledging that they wrote something. That is you're, 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 doing this. you're doing this. You're doing this. Yeah, I'm saying I read your comment. Thank you. Yeah, that, like that's just, that's that's um, not answering. Some comments Wait a minute. Worth Wait a minute. To. If it's a question, I try and respond. It might be a short response, but I try and respond. If it's just a, hey, here's a thing from the podcast. I'm like, cool, thanks. Okay, whoever whoever at said that I delete comments, I would like to know what comments they're fucking referring. Yeah, to. what comments are you talking yeah. about? Fucking DM me now. I, there's there is this hack squat video with 6,000 negative comments on it, and I've left every fucking single one. And you can go and look at the Hack Squat video. Okay, there are 6,000 comments, just tear me a new asshole. Guy, why are you taking this so everyone. personally? Why are you taking this so personally? Yeah, why are you so like... If somebody, asked me, if somebody asked me why I delete comments, I'd be like, because I don't want shitheads on my page. And yeah, but I, if I deleted that? comments, I wouldn't take it personally. And I, the fact that I, pers- I don't do that on purpose... Is ridiculous. Just, who gives a shit? Who cares? I'm say what are yeah, why you hide your girlfriends? You yeah. get defensive when people ask you about deleting comments. Yeah, hide your girlfriend. What's going on, <laughs> Justin? Just because as soon as the pussy walked in front of your face, you just got to be. You just changed. <laughs> got that pheromones and they just. Nick, do you yeah. delete? Do you delete Mark comments, me. Nick? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Right, Justin. Do you delete comments? Uh, pretty rarely, but yeah, if people are cunts, I'll delete it. I do a lot when I'm in prep. Yeah, the mood matters. Yeah. Uh, okay, last question. Would you rather fart loudly every rep or shit on a last rep of, of the session? Farts, baby. Fart. You're going to fart every time you do a rep the entire workout. Yeah, dude, 25 yeah, reps. Yeah, like baby. Bah, 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 bah. Or you could just Ask shit him on the very last rep of the very last exercise and then leave. No. Oh. What kind of wait? Is it like a, just a, a lot like of a norm, is it a normal turd? It doesn't shit, say. Or is it like a is it diarrhea? Is it diarrhea? Yeah, is it it's diarrhea. Like- I don't know if I want to deal with that and like sit in my <laughs> truck and have to like drive home. <laughs> like if it's a turd and I can just take my underwear off and do a quick wipe and throw it and be out, I'm good. Yeah, and this that's a, that's we need to know specifics. This is specific. Yeah, you got it. If you're gonna end with a question, it can't be one that's got that many fucking loop, like loopholes in it. Okay, later. Later. fine. Last one. <laughs> Would you rather have hot or cold for the rest of your life? That includes food, showers, bed, everything. Uh, cold. Cold. I got a hot. Cold. Hot bed. Like when? Hot bed. I know, but I need hot food. I need hot showers. I'm going cold because I could eat. There's certain meals you can eat cold. Yes. Uh, my coffee, you could drink cold. Yep. Water, I don't want to drink hot. <clears throat> my bed, I can sleep in better when I'm cold. I can't sleep when I'm hot, period. Imagine fucking laying in bed sweating, trying to sleep. Nick? Yeah. yeah. I know. Nick, Nick, what is your house set at right now? He's so, he's so distraught. I know. What is your house? What is the temperature set at your house? 66. Okay, and it's how hot is it in Florida? Uh, hot. So no, imagine no. not having AC, and that's how you have to live. Oh, I fucking die, bro. That's it. I'm <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, let's move on. All right, Justin, go <laughs> go train. All right, we'll, I, gotta, uh, I gotta check on the old lady. We'll resume next week, gentlemen. Love you guys. Okay, love, love you. All right, love you guys. Don't take my line, Justin. Say it. Bye. What? I love you. We all oh, said yes, I love you. Don't fucking. Don't I, I said it. I was the first one to say it. Nobody I'm, heard you. Yeah, fucking you, selfish son of a bitch. I'm sorry. Hey, guy, I love you. Nick, I love you. Fuad, love you. I do love you. <laughs> Just, love you guys. See that guy? I got a little bit more from you. <laughs> bye everybody like them. peace thanks for watching please subscribe share with your friends and like the video 
And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.